Okay, are we back? Please be back. Por favor. Okay. Let's do a quick sync check. Ay, Dios mío. If you are still in chat, refresh the tab. If you still see an F screen, please refresh. Okay. Doing a quick sync check. So one, two, one, two. And then one, two, one, two. Okay, looks like we are good. Okay, we are back. We are back, guys. We are back. If you still see an F screen, please refresh your tab or refresh your browser. <clears throat> okay, I don't know what happened. Literally, I, my processor is good. I think my internet, because like my Wi Fi and my hardwire crashed on my phone as well. So I think just our router crashed. Anyway. If you still see an off screen, refresh your tab, refresh your tab. I appreciate you guys sticking around. Okay, let's get back to it, Sag. There's gonna be two VODs. Rip. Feels bad, man. It's fine, though. We're back up, we're back up. <clears throat> okay. We, we have to find the turn up lady. Because she's closing in like 15 minutes. <gasps> oh my god! Thank you for the raid turtle. I appreciate it. Hi, welcome to Stream Raiders. Hope we're doing well today. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, there it is. There's the raid message. I haven't have yet to use it. But hi, welcome to Stream, guys. Um, exclamation plan to get a brief overview of what we are doing today. Right now, I'm looking for the turnip lady. Because <laughs> we only got 15 minutes left to find her. <clears throat> okay, mod check. Turnips? I hope they're not in a higher level. Because I think in the cutscene, in like the loading screen, it was in like the town center. Oh yeah, Lopez moved out yesterday. Sag. Sag is in chat for Lopez. Okay, honestly, Lopez was kind of boring. <gasps> there she is! <laughs> Ooh, 108. Okay, I need to write down they cost 108. A 108. There we go. <clears throat> Should we go to the bank and withdraw more bells? Question mark. <laughs> I pressed B by accident. Okay. How's my day? It's been going pretty good. Nothing too crazy today. It's been pretty chill. Oh, honestly? Okay. I had to troubleshoot so much today, so I think that's why the stream effed. Like, right before you guys came in, Turtle. <laughs> but I don't know what's up. <laughs> oh, okay. Earlier today, though, we had to water the garden. And every few weeks, we have to um, fertilize our plants with fish fertilizer. And it's essentially, like, this brown goop made of, like, old fish and it smells like actual fecal matter. It's disgusting. So we had to do that. I did that at like 7 a.m. this morning. Thankfully, like I was able to scrub it out of my hands where like my hands don't smell like shit. But it'd be like that. <laughs> Otherwise, it's been a good day. It's been a good day. Okay, we need to get more money because we threw it all on turnips. Okay, after we get a new fit, if there's anything cute, we can go ahead and do the Mayday cutscene. Okay. 
<laughs> Hi, thank you for the follow. Um, Yalu the Guru, I appreciate it. Feel free, chat lurk, whatever makes you happy. Okay, let's take out 50, another 15k. <laughs> Came in for the raid. Nice! Nice! I have, like... I've only gotten two raids, I think. And, like, my my thing is, like, I don't like to address the streamer directly, typically. Because I know when I read out, like, I'm, like, exhausted and I'm just like, I want to dip. So, <clears throat> I only, like, call out the streamer directly if they type in chat themselves. Because, like, I don't want people to feel pressured to type in chat, you know? But... I know some people don't like it, but... <laughs> but I appreciate you coming in and saying hi! Ooh, okay, that witch cloak is pretty cool. But it's not nearly fitting for May Day, so... We don't... Oh, we, I, we can still buy it, we can still buy it. Like I said the other day, I miss, like, the normal conversations. Yes, I like the gifts, but, like, talk to me. I want to get to know you, Mabel. How's my day going? It's pretty good. Just starting. Nothing too crazy. Oh, if you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, um, Yalu, make sure to tell me. Otherwise, feel free, chat lurk, whatever makes you happy. Ooh, earlier... I got, like, a chiffon skirt. Like, you know, like, the skirts, like, little schoolgirls wear? Dude, it's so freaking cute. Okay, we need the maid robe. Obviously need the hat. Okay, that's a look. But I don't want to... I don't want <laughs> to go for that today. <laughs> okay. Yeah, nothing cute, but we can save this for Halloween. <coughs> okay, so I think for the May Day cutscene, it's said to go to the airport. Yeah, we have all necessary tools. I don't think we need any items. I don't know. I've never done this cutscene. Okay, question. Does anyone genuinely, like, fill out letters for their neighbors? I remember, I think I sent one to Aurora, and I was just like, you're the love of my life. <laughs> I was like, please marry me. And then she responded just talking about, like, reading books, and I was so disappointed. I was like, how can you just reject my proposal like that? Oh, wait! I, w I skipped through it, sorry. Okay. I got a maiden ticket here from Town Nook with Megan written on it, which makes it yours. It's only good for a limited time, so when you want to use it, say the magic words, I want to fly. So you got anything to tell me? Roger! <laughs> Okay. Mayday tour. <laughs> ah, he's not gonna snitch. He's not gonna leak. Sag. Oh, we have no inventory? Oh, wait, is this... Is this, like, the maze thing? Because I remember doing the maze thing. Is this, like, the challenge? <laughs> yeah, honestly, I feel you, Issa. Like, I rearranged my room about a month ago, and I cannot find anything. Like, I shoved all my pens into a drawer, and just going through the drawer is so overwhelming. Okay, now this tour is different than most. Whole island's giant maze. Okay, I have done this, but it's been a while. Nothing in area review wouldn't help. But that's not why we're here. This is a navigation tour, you copy? The point is to find your way through. You stowed your gear back at the airport counter, so you'll have to start this mission with empty wings. Or hands. We big shot bird types are relying on our inner radar to get us around. It's a pretty nifty trick. 
But you ground-bound goslings. We'll have to zero in, zero in on whatever you can find in the maze to raise your target. Or to read your target. If you get stuck or grounded, or lost in the fog bank or whatever, just hail the rescue service on your phone. Our worst good allies will reset things that you can refill, regroup, and restart the maze. And if you ever feel like you need a little extra intel, I might have a hint or two for you. So, time to get going. Dude, I cannot talk. <laughs> so, time to get going. Right about November Oscar Whisker. Good luck. And wheels up. I remember doing this, and I remember hating this challenge. <laughs> Loki Haiki. Oh no, I hate puzzles. I hate puzzles so much. Okay, is it bad if I'm stumped already? Oh, we can buy tools! Oh, we cannot buy tools! Oh, no! Okay, um... <laughs> I genuinely feel so stupid right now. Can I not? Like... Oh no, I have no idea what to do. I literally- Oh my god, I feel so fucking stupid. Okay. What? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know you can eat the apple and you get, like, superpowers. I know that. I can dig up the tree. I totally forgot that was a mechanic in the game. Dude, five head. I figured it out. Okay, we need another apple. Well, they can probably craft the rest of the other tools. Yeah, I was definitely one of the kids who hated the corn maze. For like Halloween. That was definitely me. Nope, that's not the way. Do you know the way? Apparently I don't. Okay, what did we get? We got an axe, let's go. Unfair. Is the axe supposed to break that early? Did I just throw? Okay, that's not the way. That's not the way.
Okay, we did not even get a stone. That is so unfair. Okay, we probably have to eat. Probably have to dig up the tree because we can't chop it. <laughs> oh, okay, we have to learn the recipes first. Got it, makes sense. Oh, okay, that works. Okay, so we need more shit. Wait, do I have more apples? I have one more apple, okay. It should be enough. We should probably dig up this tree first, get two more extra apples. We're speed running right now. Okay, I genuinely thought the May Day would just be like a party cutscene. I forgot it was the maze. Okay, this is our last apple. Are there any more apples? I don't think so. Oh, I went the wrong way. <laughs> See, I'm not good with mazes, but if I'm hiking on a trail, I can remember totally which direction I came from. Like, that is n a non-issue. But mazes, no shot. Oh, we have to chop down the trees. Makes sense. Five head. <laughs> yeah, I feel like all these types of puzzles, like, they're fairly simple. But it just takes a while to, like, crack the code, I guess. Yeah, I haven't seen that movie yet. I've definitely seen, like, previews for the film. So no spoilers. <laughs> but, like, all the previews I've seen for it are kind of cringe. Low-key, high-key. Like, I love me an animated movie. <laughs> but I'm, I'm on the fence about it. Are these LaBelle tickets? 
Oh, it's a bell voucher. Ooh, dude, we need money. We need... We need coin right now. <laughs> yeah, they were like, Lego shoe who megal? Wait. Wait, but I, I don't have any apples. Wait, I have one apple, but it's not, not enough. Okay, I don't think there's any way for me to get it. Because I think I saw the pro the puzzle improperly. But it's fine. We'll, we'll talk to the guy. <clears throat> hey, Rover. You made it to the goal. <laughs> hey, have we met before? You seem kind of familiar, but... Oh, <laughs> sorry. I've been traveling to lots of different islands lately. And I'm pretty bad with names and faces. This is my first time on this island, though. It's a pretty weird island, isn't it? What brings you here anyway? <clears throat> Wait, you know Tom Nook? He's the reason why I'm here, too. I mean, I'm here because he invited me. He told me he put together a very interesting attraction on this island and I should check it out. But I didn't expect to find a maze. <laughs> what a surprise! So if you know Tom Nook, does that mean you live on the same island as he does? Sure does. Neat. That was just funny how it said, neat! Okay. I heard Nook's been putting a ton of work into that place. What was it called again? Oh yeah, Tibland, right? <laughs> I knew it! Hey, you're pretty interesting, you know? If all you island folks are this much fun, I bet Tibland's great. You got a nine, by the way? Ah, uh, Megan, eh? Great name, great name. I'm glad we met. It's almost like fate. In fact, there's something I want to give you. <gasps> the present time. It's one of my favorite briefcases. We've been through a lot together, now, and now I want you to have it. I'm gonna mail it to your house, though. We don't want it getting lost on the last leg of this journey. It's so great to meet you. I mean, what are the odds? I really didn't expect to have this much fun here. One thing's for sure. I'm hoping fate will bring us together again sometime. See you later. Is that it? I feel like there's gotta be some way to loop around. Ah, right here. <clears throat> yeah, I remember seeing like the preview for B Stars on Netflix and thinking like, oh, that's kind of cringe. I don't like 3D. Like, animated stuff that's supposed to look 2D. I hate that aesthetic. But also, it's pretty good. I read... I think most of the manga. I think. But otherwise, it's pretty good. The art is interesting. See, I think art on Season 2 is definitely better. But yeah, plot is kind of mid for Season 2. I think because... I know I definitely enjoy, like, Season 1s of shows in general. Because it's more so, like, an origin story. And then the following season is just expanding on the character's story. So yes, to me it's more boring. But I think it was decent though. Okay, let's go home. <laughs> I thought there there'd be more puzzles, but I guess it's just this one. Okay, let's go home. <laughs> I don't know if I want to keep my shrubs. I kind of want to sell them. Because I know I can always, like, buy the shrubs at a later date. I'm thinking about it. Okay. As I said earlier, the only really thing that's new is that I did get 
like more flowers and in return that's why there's some spaces empty so oh wait everything's gone oh they said they were gonna mail everything okay okay got it boss <clears throat> we can go ahead and get started on our dailies i guess Because I remember my sister and I, like, we watched, like, these stars as a joke, but we were actually like, oh, this is actually kind of good. Because, yes, all the characters are animals, but, like, the subtle nuances and themes is about, like, um, segregation and, like, people's inherent, like, racism in modern society. It's really interesting. <clears throat> and also, like, the animation style is pretty decent. Like, it's not, it's not too cringe, I guess. <clears throat> and, like, the first OP is so good. I haven't watched anime in a long time. Now that I, now that I think about it, like I keep on saying that I need to like watch Attack on Titan. Now that we have Hulu, but I just don't have time. And by that I mean I'd rather be watching streamers than anime. I don't know. Cause yes, I appreciate like traditional media a lot more, but also like being in streams is like really like relaxing to me. Like just having like a voice on in the background is nice. One of my favorite reactions is perfect for that. Watch. So, all right, speaking of bones. Did you know we settled on top of an ancient burial ground? Oh shit, we're gonna be fucking haunted now. That's right. There's dinosaur bones all over the place. And if you know where to look, which means dino ghosts. <laughs> okay. See, it's so, your, your sound is so much like a Tumblr kid right now. <laughs> TBH. Wait. I did not mean to do that. Okay. Okay, I used to be a Tumblr kid myself. So I'm allowed to call kids Tumblr kids. You don't know how to use Tumblr? Tumblr is just for like fandoms and like GIFs and people who have like similar interests. It's kind of, like, similar to Twitter in the way that, like, you can kind of stay in your own realm and consume the media that you like. <laughs> like, I know my feed was basically, like, artists, fan artists, and then, like, anime gifs. Like, that was my Tumblr feed. I haven't opened Tumblr in, like, a year, I think. Because it's kind of like, when your favorite creators start or stop posting on an app, it's kind of like when you stop using it. That's a big reason why I stopped, like, using DeviantArt, because, like, a lot of the artists I liked started posting more on, like, IG or Twitter. But I also forgot to, like, cancel my DeviantArt core membership. So, I haven't used DeviantArt in, like, two years. So I've been charged $50 every year because I forgot to cancel my subscription. So, guys... Make sure you cancel and shit. I know with my bank, there's a way to like link your um, subscriptions to your bank account so you can easily like disable them all in like the bank app. So it's cool. Okay, I know I don't get out much. Like, I know I'm very antisocial at times. But I, I was, like, watching my sister play with her friend play Animal Crossing yesterday, and oh my god. She's a lot worse than me. <laughs> let's, let's just say that. Oh my god. It was frustrating listening to them, like, figure out how to, like, send each other, like, friend codes to get on each other's island. Oh my god. My sister can actually probably hear me because she's in her bedroom right now. But... Oopsie! Because <laughs> they're both super nice, super sweet, but also not the brightest, okay? And I feel like Animal Crossing is a game for, like, babies. 
Like, it's not too hard to figure out directions. <laughs> okay, I need to stop shit talking. That wasn't nice. Nobody narc. Nobody tell her. I specifically waited a day to not harvest my crops. Because look, they're all blossoming at the same time now. It's so satisfying because Loki was irking me. Because I accidentally harvested like all the tomatoes except for three plots. So there was just a three. Okay, let's not talk about that, Issa. Let's keep it appropriate if possible. Anyway. <laughs> What's my favorite Animal Crossing flower? <laughs> um, I have to look. Let's see. Like, aesthetically? I like the look of the wind flowers, because usually they have, like, a darker center and, like, lighter outside petals. But also, the shape of a lily is pretty. Because I know my favorite, like, IRL flowers have got to be, like, I lilies or irises. So, I think Windflowers, solid S tier, but Lily, solid A tier. Because I know on my um, original island, I think I got, like, Lilies right away in the store. But it took me a while to get Windflowers. Oh, fuck. I did not mean to run it over, Sag. My goal is to get gold roses, though. Because I was not able to get them originally. Because, like, I know I had friends who had gold roses, so, like, I could steal them. But just the satisfaction of, like, earning them on my own. I cannot wait. <clears throat> okay. So I think I can get started on chopping. <gasps> okay. Okay, chop it quiet. Ah, easy! Easy clap. Okay, well, don't eat this later. And by later, I mean never. <laughs> okay. Grab an extra one just in case, for good measure. <laughs> I've been getting annoyed with the game recently because I will play at nighttime just to get stars, and there's been like three nights in a row where there's a clear, pretty sky, but no shooting stars. And I'm just like, what is going on? So, like, I will stay up till like 11 some nights with just the game open, like, crossing my fingers for shooting stars. But to no avail. I think I've only had shooting stars... I think two nights. In April. Because that's when I realized that, oh yeah, there's different stuff that happens at nighttime. <clears throat> I don't know what specifically triggers it, though. Like, I could look it up. But also, maybe not. Spend you that extra 30 seconds to look it up instead of wasting my time every night? But pick one. <laughs> oh my god, yesterday? I thought, okay, I know I said on Friday that I was gonna work on like a mural for this wall. But then, yesterday, I was just so tired. <clears throat> I think it's because like, a lot of my friends are night owls. So like, I'll stay up late like texting them and stuff. But then I'll realize, be like, oh, 
I'm in a voice call till 1 a.m. and that's the normal for me. That's probably not good. Okay, let's see what Benjamin has to say. Also, I love that song, Kim. I would sing it, but I don't know. <laughs> that's like the only verse I know from the song. <laughs> okay. Let's talk to Benjamin. I got into a fight over sharing snacks with Bubbles. I want to make up so we can eat snacks together again, but what if Bubbles hates me now? Can you deliver this present for me? I want to hate- oh, oops. <laughs> I want to hate. I want to have my snack buddy back. Okay. Whenever I get this dialogue with a villager, I will always tell them, do it yourself. Because one, you should be like mature enough to m apologize on your own. And also, why are you making me do errands for you? You're literally gonna pay me by giving me like the, the shitty decoration. Not worth. So, you need to do this yourself, wimp. Yeah, I guess I ought to apologize in person, huh? Yeah, exactly. Use your brain. That's like... Social cues one-on-one. -on -one. Apologize. It's kind of like... It's kind of like elementary school vibes where like you have your best friend... Be like, hey, like, go to your crush and be like, hey, so-and-so likes you. Instead of you confessing yourself, like, just do it. Shia LaBeouf, just do it. <laughs> Not the beef. Yeah, you can squash your own beef. It's like, don't be a wimp. I don't know. I, I think I used to be like very non-confrontational, but I've gotten to a point where like I don't like wasting my time. I will call shit out as I see it. Like I don't fuck around anymore. Yes, I do like try and put things lightly as I can. But also I will be blunt as well. So if I ever come off as standoffish, I'm sorry. But there's a reason why I'm like that. <clears throat> because, like, I'm not gonna waste any more time with people walking all over me, you know? It's like, that arc of Megan is over, and it's time for Girl Boss Megan arc right now. <clears throat> I also didn't, like, warm up my voice before stream. That's why she's a little bit iffy today. <laughs> Oopsie. Okay, also, since my sister, like, played with her friend... Now we have a tent on our island. And my sister is literally- she's literally never gonna play the game. Like, she only made an account- okay, she had an account. She only, like, start opening up Animal Crossing just so her friend could see my island. Because her friend did not want to add me on Switch for some reason. So now, we have a tent on our island. <laughs> Roar XD Lamau. Okay. <laughs> I kind of want to get another wasp. That way I can show off my skills. <laughs> because since we have a lot fewer evergreen trees on the island, I only get like maybe two or three hives every day. And I'm able to catch like two out of the three. So that's a solid like 66% success rate. But we're going to round up to 85. <laughs> Tell her her rents too. Yeah, she was literally so broke. And oh my god, another frustrating thing as they were playing. I was genuinely getting so annoyed. Because I told them, I was like, hey, my sister literally just opened her game, so she has no tools. So I was like, hey, friend, can you like bring an extra like ladder and vaulting pole in your inventory? That way she can use it. And they were like, okay, okay, but then they didn't. So her friend had to like craft shit and so they were just wasting time. Okay, granted, they were having fun, so it's fine. But I was just like, the whole time, I was like face palming and like shaking my head. Because, <clears throat> like, I think Animal Crossing Online is fine. Like, it's cute to like give an island tour for your friends. But how much can you really play together? I, is there like any type of like mini game mechanic? If so, that'd be pretty cool. But I don't think there is. Because I remember seeing, like, when Animal Crossing was the meta for um, Twitch, 
I remember, like, a big event, quote-unquote, where, like, all the streamers went to one island and they had, like, a mini fishing tournament. And it was cute. I remember watching, like, YouTube highlights of it. <laughs> like, it'd be, like, a cool mini game would be, like, kind of like the May Day Maze. Um, but having mechanics to where, like, you need two people on it. Hi, Issa! <laughs> Okay, we're not burying it. Okay, we're broke. We can only put 9k in this hole. Dude, I was so happy to get pears, though. Because I think in my other game I had peaches. Like, the only fruit I have yet to see in-game, I believe, is oranges. I think it's fun to, like, goof and gaff with your friends. Like, just a little bit of trolling. <clears throat> oh, new fish! Oh my god, I forgot it was since it's the first of the month, we get new fish and creatures. Dude. Oh, that's probably why there was a different beetle on the stump. I totally blanked on that. Because it didn't occur to me that different creatures spawn until like six months into the game in my original save i was just like oh that's why i can only get like bugs for this month <laughs> oh i think on tuesday we can go to a deserted island and see if we can get a new villager since we have an empty plot now so we'll do that on tuesday What's my zodiac sign? Um, I'm a Tauros, and I have no idea what it means. <clears throat> See, I'm the kind of person to where, like, I don't necessarily believe in fate, meaning, like, I think things do happen for a reason, but more in terms of, like, if I'm mean to someone, they're probably gonna be mean to back. So, like, I believe in karma, but I don't believe in fate. So, like, like, horoscopes, I think it's absolute BS. Because, like, a lot of horoscopes is general enough to where, like, it could apply to anyone. So I think it's cringe. Like, I think it's, like, a nice, fun thing to do to look at your horoscope. But also, like, don't take it to heart, you know? Like, don't take it too seriously. Yeah, my birthday was last Sunday. <laughs> yeah, it was last weekend. It's actually one of the best birthdays I've had... In a long time. Because I said it on Twitter earlier. In like the reply to the monthly comp tweet. That like April is has always been like a really stressful month for me. Because just like anxiety is worse in April for some reason. I think it's because like the stress of getting older. And then also like back when I was in school. Like April is kind of like the time of the year when you know that summer is coming. So like... When summer's coming, you know, like, you're not gonna have, like, school, you're not gonna have that structure. And you also, like, see your friends less, because you don't see them every day at school. Um, so, like, April just stresses me out. Even though I'm not in, like, school or traditional school anymore. Like, there's still, like, that subtle, like, I guess, creeping feeling. 
He used it to remember birthdays. Oh, that's actually kind of cute. <laughs> You're like, I don't believe the BS. I just like remembering my remembering my friend's birthdays. But thank you. I appreciate it. I think we're actually gonna go with okay. We didn't go out to dinner this weekend, but we're probably gonna go out to dinner like later this month. Cause money was tight for April. As a family, not just for me. Granted, if I started working again, we'd have more money. Sag. <laughs> so we're probably gonna go out later this month. <laughs> yeah, it took me a long time to learn how to draw faces properly. But I think it's important for, like, anybody who's learning how to draw, like, make sure you're following, like, proper drawing techniques. Meaning, like, you're looking at references, like, learn proportions. Like, I fully didn't realize how important proportions were. Because, like, you ever look at your drawing and you're like, that looks whack. Like, that looks totally wrong. And I think the thing that helped me the most, like, when, when you're looking at a reference, don't be afraid to, like, draw on your reference. Like, it's really helpful if you, like, physically print out your image that you're trying to draw. Like, draw, like, intersecting lines, draw parallel lines, draw shapes. That way it's a lot easier to break down your image. <clears throat> Why are you drawing chihuahuas? I hate drawing, like, animals. Because the anatomy for animals is really difficult. And, like, I haven't drawn in ages, mind you. But, like, it's hard for me to draw, like, rigid textures. Like, a lot of my drawings, like, a lot of them have, like, smooth lines. So it's always going to look slightly off or wrong. Like, I, I would rather do, like, illustration than realism. Yeah, I agree. Like, once I learned the grid technique, oh my god, literally game-changing. It's kind of like, okay. But hi, welcome to chat, Tegon. Hope you're doing well today. Um, you know how, like, in coloring books when you're little, there would always be, like, a coloring book page? Where it would have like half of a tulip and then a grid on the other side. Like that was introducing the basic technique of gridding to like little seven year olds with their coloring books. That to me is crazy. Like it didn't occur to me till like I cleaned my room and found an old coloring book. I was like, wow, eight year old Megan did a fairly decent job on drawing that simple tulip using the gridding technique. Because, okay, my dream, or one of my dreams, rather, would be to, like, launch my own coloring book. Like, I think having an interactive, like, illustrated book is really cool and interesting. And I feel like it's more, I guess, impactful on people than, like, a regular illustration book would be. <clears throat> because I know I, myself, I really enjoy, like, using coloring books or, like, just doodling on my own. But the issue with people who like independently independently publish coloring books is that people will can easily steal your designs because since it's typically just like a black and white stroke, it's very easy to like copy it. Like physically copy it and claim it as your own. Cause I remember seeing this one TikTok of like the story time and the lady was like saying how she published her coloring book on Amazon. And then, like, five people, like, instantly ripped it and republished it and set it as their own. Like, it sucks. Like, being an independent creator, whether it be, like, art or, like, video making, it's very easy to, like, one, be underappreciated and also, like, have your work or ideas be taken. Like, um, I had this really nice person message me on Twitter the other day. They said they watched... Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and link it in chat. Um... Okay, I haven't uploaded a YouTube video in two months now. Sag. But they said they saw the Mario Kart Challenge Wheel video on YouTube. And then it inspired them to make their own version of it. And they were like, hey, I wanted to message you and just say this is what I did. And I found your video really cool and entertaining. But I decided to do my own thing. I was like, you know, it's cool. Like, I appreciate you reaching out to me. And, like, this person also, like, linked my video in the description of their video. I was like, oh. That's how you properly, like, credit someone for an idea. Like, to think that they also went out of their way to, like, 
DM me personally the day they posted it. That was super nice, you know? Because I understand that there's, like, no such thing as an original idea nowadays. But it was still a nice thing to do, you know? Anyway, that was just, like, a really nice impression they left. Because there's a lot of people who will blatantly steal tweets or, like, blatantly steal ideas. Yes, it happens, but it's still nice to know and also reassuring that there's, like, good people with, like, good intentions out there, you know? Okay, also, the Mario Kart wheel is not an original idea. Like, I feel like everybody is doing some type of challenge wheel, but mine was, like, slightly different. So, can I just say I've never seen that, like, specifically spinning the wheel for a Mario Kart challenge. I've never seen that specifically. So, I don't know if it's my idea, but I haven't seen anything about it. <clears throat> I'm trying to think of, like, what I drew when I was younger. I feel like- okay, I for sure drew a lot of, like, flowers and people. I don't think I drew a lot of animals. Okay, we used to have a pet rabbit, so I, I would draw rabbits sometimes, but I would never draw, like, dogs or cats. And, like, when I used to draw, like, every day about two, three years ago, I would draw people every day. Mainly because I liked seeing, like... Because when you're drawing people, there's, like, standard patterns you'll see in terms of, like, proportions. And it's really cool to see how, like, natural faces have varying proportions. Whether it be, like, bigger eyes or smaller noses, like, larger mouths, that type of thing. So I really like that aesthetic, I guess, of people. Okay, <clears throat> before we head into the forest, you guys know what time it is. We are about an hour into stream, technically an hour 15 into stream because the stream effed Sages in chat. But it is time to run an ad. I have to f fulfill my contractual obligation and run an ad. So you can avoid that ad for subscribing for just $4.99, just $5 a month. Skip your coffee tomorrow and get ad free viewing all month long. And you get super cool sub only emotes. And okay, Oilers, Oilers. If we have any secret Oilers in chat, if we hit. 50 subs, hopefully by today. We're probably going to lose subs tonight, Sag. But if we hit 50 subs today, we're going to get three new emotes. We're going to get two more seek regular emotes and then one new animated emote. If we hit 50 subs today. Anyway, an ad is coming. We will see some of you guys in a few. <clears throat> okay, back to game. Dude, I this is like... A... How many ounces is this? I don't know. It's a big ass cup. So this is gonna last me like all day. Okay, I forgot to dig up any flowers. Okay, so we're going to transplant the extra flowers, chop trees up top, and then do you laughy lose, I think. Because <laughs> I'm still thinking about how I want to decorate the island. Because I don't necessarily want to start terraforming. Okay, I can't terraform anyway. But I don't want to place too much stuff until they can start terraforming. Like, I think I'll decorate off-stream. Okay, I think one stream we can maybe do, like, a segment where we decorate my house. Like, the inside. I think that'd be good. Because I feel like that is less overwhelming than, like, decorating the whole island. Oh, oh dude. I just remembered. Okay. If anybody streams, um, if you run, like... A longer ad break, you get less pre-rolls for people coming into stream. And I totally blanked and didn't run an ad during like the starting soon screen. So everybody probably got pre-rolls today. Got I hate that because like I know for me as a viewer, if I see a pre-roll, I, I instantly click off. Like it annoys me to my core. Like I don't mind mid-rolls. I think it's fine because like usually you know when an ad is coming, but a pre-roll, I'm like 
screw this, I'm out. But... I don't know. I feel bad. Because, like... Not that I don't want to run ads, like... It, it... Okay. Ad revenue is minuscule. It's, like, basically nothing for a lot of creators. But I understand it's, like, essential for the website. So I don't mind running them. I just feel bad for people. That's also why I run a longer ad break every hour than, like, a 30-second ad every 15 minutes. I think that... It doesn't ruin the flow as much, in my opinion. I don't know. If any chatters, if you're watching Twitch on a budget, look up Twitch Turbo. Twitch Turbo is pretty pago. It's pretty cool. I'm not gonna say what it is, but you can look it up yourselves. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I need to see Sonic 2. I think the first Sonic movie was the last movie I saw in theaters. And, like, the second one looks actually pretty good. But is it only- if it's only available in theaters, then I can't see it. Like, I'm still kind of scared to go outside. Low-key, high-key. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. Because there was one class I had in school for college where we basically had to do anatomy studies every week. And, like, I don't mind drawing anatomy. Like, whether it be, like, the different body parts. Like, I don't mind it. But just looking at a reference picture for, like, hours on end is annoying to me. Okay, honestly, I'm complaining a lot today. I get annoyed by a lot of things. Let's be honest. <clears throat> but I think my favorite, like body part to draw has definitely got to be hands. Because, like, if you just look at your hand, there's so many, like, different, like, positions and angles you can do. Like, all the different, like, segments and bones and joints you have in your hands. It's almost like you have an infinite amount of, like, references when you draw your hand. <laughs> I think also, like, to me, like, the way your hand moves, like, is similar to, like, a spider's leg where it's, like, jointed. I think it's really cool to look at. What is this? Is this just a pillar? Yeah, it's just a pillar. <laughs> it's only 4k. We can buy it. It's only 4k. Okay, these clawfoot tubs IRL, they scare me so much. Because, like, imagine it just falling through the floor. Like, that is a genuine fear of mine. Yeah, like, I think it's cool, but it also bothers me that, that yes, your fingers are mostly bone. Because, like, it allows for so much, like, mobility. But also, like, imagine, like, fucking up your fingers. Like, you don't have as much, like, cushion or, like, fat on it, you know? Because the closest I've ever, like, broken a bone was, I think I sprained my... No, I sprained my wrist. It wasn't my ankle. I sprained my wrist. And, like, that sucked. Why am I going here? I literally have no idea why I went in here. <laughs> but thank you for clipping the stream, Missa. I appreciate it. Can we just throw this pacifier away? Ugh. 
Anyway, we'll, we'll keep it just in case. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, dude. Like, I can never imagine, like, breaking a boat or fracturing a foot or your leg. That has got to be the worst. Because, like, yes, I can handle, like, not being able to write. Because if you're in school, you can, get, you can get, like, a scribe or something. But, like, not being able to, like, move and, like, having limited mobility... That has got to be the worst. Like, I think fucking up your legs... Besides your head, mind you. Is, like, the worst that can happen. Because I've had a few relatives to like later in their lives they've had they were like confined to a wheelchair. And just like talking to them, hearing how like one stressful it is, and also like how you feel like more of a burden to other people because you have to rely on them to be able to like transport yourself. It it definitely does not seem fun at all. Issa out here having an existential crisis right now. <laughs> yeah, I remember, like, in middle school when we're, we were learning about, like, biology and that type of thing. Because the teacher was like, you know, everything is recycled. You know, like, all materials and minerals on this earth came from something else before you. So, everyone was goofing around, gaffing around to be like, technically, all pee becomes water. So, therefore... I'm drinking so and so's pee. <laughs> like I remember that was like a gag everyone did. Look, that I didn't even try. I caught that wasp so easily. Anyway, back to it. Yeah, but I remember that was like, I mean, middle schoolers like potty humor is like the funniest thing to them. <laughs> okay, granted, potty humor doesn't make me laugh as much. But if okay, you know, like the the boom. Fart sound effect, that's pretty good. Like, if that's, like, a, added into a meme it, that's pretty solid. Like, that, okay, it won't get me every time, but sometimes, it gets me. Hi, Vengeance! Welcome to stream, hope you're doing well today. Exclamation plan for a brief overview of what we're doing today. Oh, can I do it again? Can I do it again? Nope, okay, I didn't line it up properly. Taste accessory, is that a solid 50% right now? <laughs> for today, for today, mind you. <laughs> doing amazing, glad to hear. I'm doing pretty good. We did, okay. I did get a little bit annoyed earlier because the stream did F, but it was out of my control. Literally, we haven't had the stream crash in like a solid month, so... Like, my Wi-Fi and my Ethernet just broke itself for like two minutes and I wanted to cry. But you know, it's fine, it's fine. We're back, we're back. I lost people, but you know, people stuck around. Because like, okay, my biggest anxiety with like tech issues, because like, I know what to do. Like, I know how to troubleshoot stuff for the most part. But like... Okay, also, it's out of my control, but like, I feel like I let people down. Because I have the capacity to like, run a show, meaning like... I know how to troubleshoot stuff. I know how to, like, install software. But it's like... When the internet crashes, it's like... Come on, dude! That's why, like... I, there was definitely, like, a tone shift for, like, 20 minutes after the crash. Because I was just like... Sag. Because, like... Okay. I know it's taboo to keep your real account on. But I usually keep it on. That way I can see that, one, I'm still alive. Because it is very easy to, like, not... Because, like, if you have zero viewers at my level, it probably means, like, your stream crashed, right? 
Um, and also, like, it's interesting to see, like, what I'm talking about that'll make people come in or make people leave. So that's, like, kind of something I keep as a mental note. Um, I've always been doing this, and, like, I tell people that I do this, like, kind of trick. And they're like, why do you have your view count on? And I'm like, it's just so I can see, like, when you go through your VOD, you don't get, like, a live viewer count when you review your analytics. So, I don't know, it's just something I do. But also, like, Twitch's viewer count is sus. Like, it's never actually correct. So, even if, let's say, for example, your viewer count is at, like, 10, there's probably, like, an extra 5 people or extra, like, 5 accounts that are lurking. Because I know Twitch said they're changing, like, how viewer count works. Meaning, like, if people don't chat, it doesn't count as a viewer if they don't chat for X amount of time. I don't know if that's been implemented yet, but I think it's an interesting policy to enact because, one... Um, I feel like- I know in a lot of big streams, I don't necessarily chat. Like, let's say someone has like 30k viewers, they most likely have 2 to 5k people actually engaging in chat. Like, that's just like the ratio of how numbers work for people that size. Um... <clears throat> what was I gonna say? I was leading into something else and then I forgot. Okay, it must <laughs> I cannot remember. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I was- I remember what I was gonna- I remember what I was gonna say. Anyway, so the concept of, like, only counting a viewer if they're chatting, I feel like that's going to encourage more streamers to get their chatters talking. Because to me, like, your chat box is the most important part of your stream. I know when people are small, it's kind of hard to get people to be active in chat. Um... I know because of that, it's also hard to like keep talking during streams. Hi Rose, welcome to stream! Hope we're doing well today. Exclamation plan to get a brief overview of what we're doing today. Um, today's an extra stream, so... No nothing too crazy, TBH. <laughs> um, but anyway. It's, in general, very difficult to get people to be in chat and also like keep talking. I know for I myself, as a viewer, I don't necessarily like chatting all the time. Because... Especially when people are small, like my size. Um, a lot of streamers rely on their chat for their commentary, which I know I still am trying to get over as well. Like, I'm trying to, like, come up with topics on my own. That's why we got the book of questions. <laughs> but... I know if I'm, like, watching a streamer, I don't chat until, like, my third or fourth stream watching. Because... A lot of, like, small streamers, like, as I said earlier, they rely on, like, their chat box for the commentary. Which is not good for long-term growth. You need to be able to learn how to stand on your own. Um. <laughs> because since a lot of small streamers rely on their chat for commentary, um, a lot of the times they feel lost when they don't have chatters. Like, they don't know what to say. They don't know how to, like, expand on what they're talking about. Um. Okay, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for this water bug. I don't know if you guys see it on screen because it's really small, but it's right here. It's in the water. Easy. Um, so I feel like the idea of encouraging chatters to chat is good. But I don't know how successful that will be for long term. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Like I, for the most part, like I watch a couple of small streamers, but it's usually small streamers that are like my friends. Because going into a small streamer's chat, like, I know I feel bad if I don't come back. You know what I mean? Or if I don't chat all the time. Because usually, like, a small streamer will remember you. Which is cool. That's part of the appeal of, like, watching a small streamer. Like, you get that, like, sense of, like, intimacy, that one-on-one -on -one interaction with your um, streamer and viewer. <laughs> but there's a few, like, smaller channels that I've stopped watching, and I feel bad. Um... But then I'm like, I feel like their streams were just not for me. Like, I don't think 
Okay, a big reason why I don't watch a lot of small streamers now is because to me the chat box is the most entertaining thing. Like the reason why I watch like Mizgif or Hassan all day long is because I love the chat box. Like just seeing seeing emotes like just all day in chat is so funny to me. Because emote culture on its own is kind of like its own language almost. Meaning like you can type like Sag in chat and you know what that means without typing out sad, you know? It almost feels like an inside joke. Like, I think that's the biggest appeal to, like, a larger streamer's chat. Because, like, you can read chat, and that's, like, half of the entertainment. Like, you don't necessarily need to like, be, like, fully engaged in, like, watching the actual streamer. Because the chat box is entertaining. <laughs> like, I know also my take is, like, ragging on myself. Because I know I myself... And very small. But it's just the type of media I like to consume. Personally. Because. I think it's kind of fun watching back my VODs to find clips. Okay, yesterday. I did not finish what I was saying about yesterday. Yesterday I spent like six hours editing clips. Literally, no joke. Only got three clips made. Because my commentary for Mario Kart has changed drastically. To where it's less of me like talking. And more of me like commentating what's on screen. So, I know the appeal for, like, my TikTok clips is people are like, Oh, you play Mario Kart, but then you talk about deep shit. And I'm like, yeah, it's pretty sick, isn't it? Like, I'm murking people with green shells, but also we're talking about life issues. <laughs> so, because of that, my commentary drastically switched or shifted two months ago. So, I, I watched, like, six hours worth of VODs for clips and only got three clips. And, I mean, there's, that's just how it is. You know, that your commentary changes. Um, it was kind of frustrating. Like, I was going to edit for longer yesterday. But I was like, I can't I can't take this anymore. <laughs> I was like... Because oh, I think as of right now, the VODs I have that I'm editing right now are from February. So basically two months ago now. Um, so once we get to, like, VODs from March and April, that's when they'll be, like, good shit. So we gotta comb through like the mid February arc to get to the juicy April arc. Because like I know a lot of I know a lot of streamers will like rely on their chatters to clip stuff during the live and then they will use those clips to repost. Which is fine. If you have a decent amount of chatters clipping stuff, then you can like comb through the clips and find a good moment. Um, but when you're small like me, you can't necessarily do that. And a lot of people, particularly Issa, shout out to Issa, <laughs> you'll clip like anytime I mess up or I say something funny, which is good, but it's not like, I guess not enough like content for a clip. Like for example, if it's a clip of me talking about something or giving like a hot take, it's usually like a two minute segment that I have to trim down to a minute. Mainly to get rid of dead air. <laughs> so, you can rely on, like, just your Twitch clips for clips. But a lot of the time, like, okay, if anybody goes on TikTok or, like, you go on a platform that reposts, like, your Twitch clips, it's very, like, easy to distinguish, like, a good clip from a bad clip. Like, it also depends on, like, what you want people to take away from it. Whether it be like, do you want it to be like somewhat like refreshing or educational? Do you want it to be like a funny moment or like a good sound bit? Because I know for me, if I see a Twitch clip and it's like a five second sound bit that gives me no context, no like meaning behind it, I don't like it. Like it doesn't like, yes, it's a good sound bit. Like you can use it for like an alert or something, but it's not a good clip. You know what I mean? Um... I think that's why, like, I have seen, like, a decent amount of success with my TikTok. Because a lot of people who come into stream, or, like, who leave comments, will say that, like, you feel like a real person. Like, it's not just, like, funny haha moments from stream. It's, like, you genuinely talking and, like, giving your opinions on stuff. Like, you feel like you have, like, you're not a, a character all the time. And I think that appeal is really important. 
Because at its core, streaming, you're broadcasting your personality. Meaning if people don't like you, they're not going to like the stream. Because yes, funny moments are good to post. But also, your whole stream is not funny moments. Like most of my stream personally, it's yes, me playing a game. But it's usually just me talking to chat or like giving my opinions on things. Um... Yeah, anybody who wants to start posting on TikTok, um, don't start posting until you have a good handful of, like, drafts queued up. Because the algorithm does promote you more if you post daily or twice daily, from what I've noticed. Like, I posted twice daily for about a month, and I did decent. Like, I started seeing growth after two months. But also keep in mind that, like, your clips have to be in a very similar niche. Because my niche is Mario Kart, but also the sub-niche is me giving my, like, opinion on stuff. <laughs> and, like, just chatting or talking, I guess. Okay, so I think we can go ahead... Oh, wait! We gotta see what our item is! I forgot. Okay, I appreciate the lurk. Good luck with homework. You can listen to my voice now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh wait, the hot items, I did- I literally didn't even see what the items were. Okay, hay bed, I- hay bed was yesterday's hot item, so I literally crafted all my hay yesterday. And then I have not- I don't have any bamboo, so no hot items today, Sag. Okay, so... May Day was a success. I thought the cutscene would be different, but the- the maze was pretty cool, it was pretty aight. Okay, it took me like, five minutes to figure it out initially, so... I need to get good, I guess. But we can go ahead and save here. And then switch gears to a fan favorite segment of stream, You Laugh, You Lose. And then after You Laugh, You Lose, we can go ahead and get started on calligraphy. Um, I think I'm going to keep the title the same. Because we're testing out not changing our title for stream. We're testing that today. <laughs> well, no problem. I'm glad you're here too, Issa. Like, not many people stream on Sundays, unfortunately. I wish more of the big guys streamed on Sundays. And I think even Hassan Abi said he's not going to stream on Sundays anymore. He said, I need to take a break at least one day a week. And I was like, fine, I guess. <laughs> okay, wait. Actually... Okay, I forgot. I have to give the switch to my sister. I mean, we're done playing games for today, so no biggie, no biggie. Um, so let me go give it to her real quick. Okay, so I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Nobody freak out. Oh, dude, my legs hurt. My knees hurt. I'm getting old. Okay, give me like 10 seconds. Count to 10 in your head and I'll be right back. I just knocked over a vase, but you know, everything's fine, everything's fine. See, I told you it was quick, not even 10 seconds. Okay. So let's go ahead and get you laugh, you lose set up. <laughs> Dude, I feel like the lighting is so weird today. I look really red. I mean, granted, I do have saturation up like a teeny bit, but nothing too crazy. Oops! Okay. Rules are simple. Okay. Well, okay. If I laugh, I lose. I don't end stream just yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I forgot we're doing this in the middle of the stream today. Um, also, if you laugh, type one in chat and tell me what made you laugh. Okay, let's get started. No! They're gonna die!
I think that was good. Should I drink something? You know the videos where they have like water in their mouth? And try not to laugh? Dude, wicked! Oh my god, I'm such a chatter. I cannot resist the urge to like spam emotes in chat. Oh, they dropped the pickle draw. I was like, what was that even? <laughs> My god! I love Mario Kart edits so much. Wait, I missed what happened. Wait, I need to go back. What'd he do? Okay, was the dumbest kid like tearing the cardboard apart? If so, fuck that kid. <laughs> but also, it's a child, so I can't be too mad. I've seen this. I hate this. I hate that shit. I think piercings are cool and cute, but not for me. Okay, the reason why they blur it out is because they can't show kids on YouTube. So, you can only picture what's happening. Loki is kind of scarier without the visual. No! I knew that was coming. Oh no. <laughs> Dude, that was sick. <laughs> Another Mario edit. If all the little kids who like made Minecraft edits and invested that time into like actual video production, they'd be actually go to editors. Yeah, that was just cute. What?
Was that After Effects or? No. Homie, what are you doing? Uh, this bitch. Yeah, I don't know how people type with nails. I don't get it. Oh, I wanted the child to like pop out like screaming. No one's in the car at all. I just lost the tailgate. What? What were they doing? Could they not have a tow truck? Okay, that was good. That was pretty good. Anybody get got? We had Kim laugh like a million times. <laughs> I okay. Honestly, I want to watch the Mark or Ed one again. Where is it? It's near the beginning. Yeah, this one. This one is fucking great, dude. The Mark or Ed, it's always like. They're so good. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> yeah, I did. The polar bear with the micro music? Yeah. Um, at our zoo, I think for Halloween, they give, like, the polar bears pumpkins. And you get to see them, like, tear it up. Thank you for the follow, Firefox. I appreciate it. Feel free. Chat lurker, that makes you happy. Okay. So, you laugh, you lose is now over. So, we can finally get to the meat and beans. <laughs> the meat and beans of <laughs> today's stream. So, as you guys know, exclamation journal in chat. We do have... Um, where is my writing? We do have, like, a sub-journal for people who do choose to subscribe, donate, that type of thing. Um, we have a separate journal for that. I'm going to go ahead and grab it. So we have a special journal where we write names for people who help support the stream. And then last month for April Fools, I did a gag stream where I wrote um, all of my followers' names, and I kept messing up their names, so I spent a total of like eight hours rewriting everyone's name super nice, and it was a six-hour stream because back in April, we had about 270 followers, so I went back, and it's wild to think about like how many people like to think that these are all individual people right maybe some are bots we don't know but let's pretend they're all people right it's very easy to get caught up in numbers but there's always someone behind every username right um so we are continuing with writing my followers usernames today so, 
we have about 80 to 90 ish names to write today i have to clear off my desk like we're not we're not spilling today we're not doing that hi right, welcome back to stream vengeance hope you're doing well okay so it's gonna take me a minute to get the camera up <clears throat> i'm also gonna put some music on for you guys because I think last time I did run music, but it was kind of cringe. So I think we're going to listen to Nintendo music today. Because that feels like something that I know I will like and I will listen along to. Okay. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get some music queued up. Okay, you guys can hear it, right? Is it a good level? <clears throat> hey, can I hear it? <laughs> okay, I don't know about y'all, but when I listen to music, I literally have it at, like, level one, because it's way too freaking loud for me. Okay, I need to get my pens. And I'll cross the music maybe later. The video I have keyed up right now is this one. It is um, No Thoughts, Head Empty, Nintendo Music, Niche, and Obscure. So, this one is three hours long. So, maybe next month we can do Animal Crossing, or if this stream lasts for longer than three hours, then we can do Animal Crossing. Because, <laughs> like, I kind of want something upbeat for this, because I know that, like, this, like, calligraphy is, like, chill. But I also want to, like, work fast. You know what I mean? And I feel like Animal Crossing won't, like, get me going. <laughs> How long did it take for me to get affiliates? Um, it took me a long-ass time. And I know why it took me a long time. Um. I started streaming back in August. Of 2021. Okay, we're on Do Not Disturb mode, so we're not gonna leak anything. Um. And... I know why it took me a long time to qualify for affiliate. One, I did not ask my friends to lurk in my stream. I asked them to not have a tab open because that is cringe. You know why it is cringe? Because if you are given something, kind of like how in school, like if you cheat, you're not rewarding yourself, right? So if you have your friends have a tab open, having no chatters, not necessarily talking, then you're not helping build your commentary style, right? And so I qualified for affiliate in January. Instantly accepted it because I wanted to like have chatters have sub emotes, right? Because I want chatters to have emotes. Um, so I streamed for six months with zero viewers. And I understand why I had zero viewers. One, I was boring. I, okay, my personality now on cam is a little bit more exaggerated. It's a little bit more extra. So I can understand why it's a bit more entertaining to watch. I know I'm not super extra all the time, but I get it now. You know what I mean? Like, there is a reason why people come into stream. There's a reason why people come back. There's also a reason why people don't come back. And you learn that over time. A big reason or a big thing that helped me um, bring people to stream was cross-posting. So once I started posting consistently on TikTok and like actually finding good clips to post and like actually um, like editing and properly and like timing and trimming stuff really well to make a good final edit. Um, that's when I started seeing good growth. Okay, I want to listen to the music too. <clears throat> so, couldn't agree more. Yeah, I think. Like, having a tab open for your friends is cool. It's a nice gesture, but it's not helping them. Right? So, if you are just starting out streaming, or... Yeah, if you're just starting out streaming, don't do that. It's not... It's not gonna help you. Like, yes, it still counts as a number. It still helps for your analytics. But it's not helping you. Because, you know what I like about my stream? I don't have any streamers in chat. You know why? One, I don't network. Lum out. Okay, Emmy Beef, she is a streamer, but she's not here all the time. My regulars who come into chat are people who like me or like like the stream, like the clips. 
Okay, let's- Oh, I need to open another tab and actually see what my followers' names are. Lamau. Um. <clears throat> anyway. Because a, what, you, what you will see in, like, a lot of smaller streamers- <laughs> I see how it is. No. I don't- Okay. I don't do follow for follow either. I don't look at my chatter's profiles. So if you stream, cool. Pago, but I don't look at that shit. Like, I see people as a viewer. You know, I don't see you as a chatter. Or no, I see you as a chatter, not a streamer or whatever. Like, where is it? Settings, okay. Oh, there. I, I was looking at my wrong side. It's my, create it's my creator dashboard. I mean, if you're trying to stream right now, go for it, you know? But I'm not going to boil you down to just that. You know, like, that's why, like, I will goof and gaff whenever, like, Scootish comes in the stream. But otherwise, like, I don't see him as just, like, a partnered streamer. He's still a person, you know? Hi, welcome to stream Firefox. How pretty well today. Thank you for the follow earlier as well. Um, if you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Okay. So I need to scroll all the way down. Okay, I didn't have to scroll very far. Because <laughs> I think the last follower we got in um, April... No, in March, actually. Was milk free. Over here, right? Okay. So, if you guys can't see it, but I have another tab open. See, of. Because I can scroll through and see, like, who my followers are. I can also see if people unfollow. So, if I'm being, like, a petty little bitch, I can see <laughs> who unfollows. <laughs> Wrong screen. There we go. Okay. I'm kidding. I don't look at that shit. I'm not, I'm not a petty bitch. But actually, maybe. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, I forgot to change my title. Okay, also, I said it at top of stream. But. I finally got TTS activated. So TTS enabled. Exclamation tip in chat. So if we have any Oilers, or if you enjoy the content. If you go, if you do exclamation tip in chat, or donate. It'll link you to my stream elements page. Um, donations are minned at $5 because I don't want a dollar. That's cringe. Like, if you're going to spend money on me, drop me a five. Lamau. <coughs> joking, not joking. Anyway. I'm going to go ahead and get my pants ready. I, I think crossing my fingers, I set up TTS properly. Because, like, I was troubleshooting it this morning and it was working, but I don't know for sure. Okay. So last month, we ended off with Cancer Bus, Cloud Bebop. Wilbert Gill, Nezrin, Little Culture, Absolution Gaming, and then Milk Free. So these, this was follower number 271, Milk Free. Um, I think they came in a stream one time. I think Milk Free followed during the writing the followers name segment. <laughs> um, and they got their name written live. Oh, also, um, if you sub, gift, or cheer right now, you get to skip the line, and I'll write you in the special sub journal. You, you get to, like, skip the line and get written... In the nice fancy journal. Okay, so I need to get my pens ready. So, oh, if you want to see what pens I'm using, exclamation pens in chat, obvi. So today I am using the Cali Art brand, right here. It's definitely they are very similar to. Why'd you follow and unfollow Vengeance? You're so cringe. Look, you're ruining your follow age now. <laughs> So cringe. You're not gonna skip the line, because I still have a list of- You're gonna be like the last person written now. That's fucking cringe. Anyway, nice try, bug. <laughs> anyway, I'm using Cali Art. They have a brush tip. And then they also have a fine point nib. Um, the set I got was a 34 kit, I think, and it was only $16. So pretty decently priced, honestly. So if you want to try practice on your own, um, calligraphy is a nice, relaxing hobby. It's definitely something I do to like calm down. So you can see who unfollows. <laughs> Dude, it, ni nice trolling. Just a little bit of trolling. But good job, man. <laughs> oh my god. See, like, you don't get a notification for, like, if somebody unfollows. But I can look at your user, like, profile and see, like, your follow age. 
<laughs> well, now you can say, I've only been following for a day. Instead of what, like, a few weeks now? <laughs> okay, right now- oh wait. I didn't actually show my pens. Oh! Fuck! Okay. So this is my kit. I put them in rainbow order. That way it's easier for me to see. I also, um, swatched all of the colors. That way I could easily see what number the pen is. <clears throat> so right now I'm just selecting the colors that I want. Okay. So right now... I'm not trying to skip the line, gotcha bus. So these are the colors I will be using. This is the um, number 1, number 44, 33, 72, 92, and then a 50. So if you want to draw along with me at home, um, these are the colors I will be using for this. Um, I'm illiterate, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I, I think also like Rainbow for Pride won. And also, like, it's just so visually, like, satisfying, you know? Um, yeah, okay, let's get started. Also, um, this part of stream is gonna be a bit more chill. Um, because I want to, like, actually focus on writing. Like I said earlier, it usually takes, like, one or two minutes per name. Depending on the length and also, like, how nice, how nice I want it to look. So feel free, if you're in chat, lurk, enjoy the visual ASMR. Ask questions, that type of thing. Okay. Also, gentle reminder. Um, if you sub, you get to skip the line. That's all. That's all I'm gonna plug. Oh wait, actually, actually. Um, talking about subscribing. <laughs> we are about two hours into stream. So you guys know what that means. It's ad time, baby! <laughs> So you can avoid the ad break by subscribing for just $4.99, just $5 a month. Skip a coffee today and get ad free viewing and super cool sub only emotes for a month long. Also, we are close to our sub goal. If we hit 50 subs today, that means chat gets three new emotes. You guys will get two single frame emotes and then one new animated. So any Oilers, today is the day. Today is the day. Okay, anyway. We will see some of you guys in a few. There we go. Okay, let's get to writing. Let's stop stalling. Yeah, I'm honestly liking the music a lot. I think it's pretty pogo. Okay, let's, let's go. Focus mode activated. I need to increase my screen brightness. Because I don't know about y'all. But I always put my screen on like literally the lowest brightness it can be. So... But the lights in my room are really bright right now, so I need to increase the brightness real quick. Yeah, it's literally at level zero brightness. Oh, dude, that's so much better. Okay. Let's get to writing. You only followed a week ago? Oh, really? I thought you've been following for longer. Oh, it's because I've seen you on TikTok Vengeance. That's it. That's it. Okay, I need to make sure this is on cam. Yeah, we're on cam. Okay. I get so worried that I'm, like, working out of frame with this second cam setup. I know I just got these pens like three weeks ago, but this orange is already kind of busted. And there's a hair on it. I did buy a new set, so that's coming in the mail next week. Because I was like, if I'm going to be doing these calligraphy streams every month, I need an extra set just for backup. 
Oh, okay. If I have TTS on, I need to enable the sound, right? Lamau. There we go. So TTS should be working now. <coughs> because, like, I was trying to troubleshoot it earlier, but, like, I literally set it up at, like, 10.30, so, like, 30 minutes before stream. And I think I did it right. Okay, so we have Ali Saad, 25. Okay, on to a new page. Okay. So I need to remember how I spaced everything. So it's three dots from the top. So one, two, three. And then one, two, three in between. So I used to do like ruler lines for each line, but I find it easier for me to visualize just putting dots. <clears throat> I think I spaced it right. That doesn't look right though. Sorry, I need to count again. So, there's three, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, three. I don't think I spaced that right. Did I mess up? I feel like I messed up. I mean, honestly, it's fine. If I fucked up, then I fucked up. <laughs> um... For any, like, FAQ questions, I usually have a command. That's why I type Discord in chat. Because I don't like saying the same shit over and over again. And I feel like having a Discord is, like, the most common question. That's why there's a command for it. Um, don't feel like I'm ignoring the question. <laughs> Lamau. <laughs> it's just, like, I don't want to say the same spiel over and over again. Um, the reason why I don't have a Discord at this point is because, one, we are not big enough. Because... If I have a Discord server, I want it to be big enough to where, like, it's popping off every day, you know? And I feel, since I am still very small, also for my own personal protection, I need to, like, have that sense of distance between viewers. Because, yes, I appreciate you guys coming into stream and, like, enjoying the content. But also, like, I don't want any creeps, you know? Because I know whenever I join a Discord server, like, I feel, like, a lot closer to the streamer. Which is not healthy for the streamer or the viewer. Because you have that sense of entitlement, right? Where you feel like um, you are like entitled to their interaction with you. And just for my mental health, it's probably not good for me right now. And like, the gag where I'm like... Sorry, this, this username is very funny spelled. Um, the gag where I'm like, maybe 100 subs and I'll do it Lamau is like a joke but not really because theoretically if you have consistently 100 subs in your stream that that means you're probably no don't worry don't worry don't be afraid to answer questions I'm, I'm just explaining it quickly so like i know we do have more people here than usually than usual um <clears throat> theoretically if you have like um 100 subs right and that's your usual you probably will have like 20 to like 50 viewers. So you have a good amount of people who will want to engage with you offline. Because like you ever... I thought I spelled the wrong thing. Fucking God. Um, you ever go into like a smaller streamer's Discord and it's literally dead? And then you never go back to the Discord because it's dead? So... I feel like I don't want to set it up until we have a good handful of people who are going to be active and engaged in it. That's just my take. Anyway, thank you for the compliment, For I appreciate it. It takes, like... Okay, so we have precipitation. That took literally, like, three minutes, didn't it? <laughs> um, um, it takes a lot of practice, right? As with any, like, skill or art or trade, it takes practice. So, I think calligraphy is a really nice thing to get into. Because it doesn't require a lot of skill, and it's something you can easily learn. Because with calligraphy, like, the main thing you have to learn how to do is how to hold your pen 
and also like learn how to like apply pressure properly. Because like I said, this the kit I'm using is very cheap, very low price point. Like literally this 34 set was um, $16, I think. So exclamation pen from chat if you want to see the set I'm using right now. Not sponsored. If I was sponsored, dude, I would be shilling so hard right now. <laughs> um, but I do have like a traditional like ink and pen. Like, you know, the pens with the metal nubs. I do have that, but I feel like it's a bit too messy. Because anytime I do like bust out the India ink and start inking, I get ink everywhere. And by that, I mean like I don't spill. But you know how when you like lift up your pen, like if you have a very high likelihood of um of like splattering ink, like just like little little splots everywhere. And like the last time I used my India ink, I got like ink all over my keyboard and I was genuinely so annoyed. And I haven't touched it since. Yeah, this username is a little bit sus. <laughs> but you know, they, they save themselves, right? Okay. Next we had Blow Me Bloshi. I feel like, because I know Twitch announced about a month ago that they are, um, that they are enacting a new policy to where they're going to be a bit firmer on, like, TOS usernames, which I think is good. Thankfully, I haven't had any issues. Um, a big reason why I don't have follow alerts on screen or in chat is because let's say one day Megan does get a hate raid, right? Um, I do have LGBTQ tag. If you don't know, I am bisexual. Let's go. So I'm like a little bit gay. Um, so if you don't like that, then politely see yourself out. Anyway, uh, like I'm genuinely very concerned and scared for any time I do get a hate raid or like a follow bot raid. Like that's not that's not fun to think about. Um, so that is why we don't have, um, follow, like, names on screen. Like, yes, I do have, um... <laughs> Everyone is, like, a little bit, um... Wait, no, that's not what I was gonna say. I was reading off your message, Vengeance Lamau. Um, but yes, I feel like... Uh, I don't want to necessarily talk about it too much. But I think there's like a difference between like physical attraction and then like romantic attraction. Because yes, you can be like aesthetically attracted to someone, but like not everyone is like attracted to like the intimacy intimacy aspect of sexuality. And that's the last thing I want to say about it. I don't want to go too into detail. Um, but I think both guys and girls and NBs are pretty and cute, and I will gladly date any of them. Also, not chatters, though. I don't bang chatters. That's cringe. <laughs> um, I, I think what's really nice about having, like, the tags for, like, ethnicity or, like, your identity is that you can find one, like-minded people and also, like, people, like, seeing yourself in media. Um, we have towels for free. Because, like, I hate the argument to their, like, there's too many gay people on TV. It's like, no, there literally is not. There's not a lot of queer representation in media or TV. Like, the reason why you need that in media is so people don't feel ostracized. You know what I mean? It's so, like, if you see yourself on screen, then subconsciously you feel more accepted in your society, right? Um... I'm in the states, I'm in Washington state, so like Washington is pretty progressive, but I know like some states don't have that luxury or privilege. And I feel like everyone should have the right to be who they authentically are, and you should have the right to like equal healthcare and equal opportunity as well. One day America will get there, but we're not fully there. Yeah, thank you, Vengeance. It took me a lot of time to, I guess, develop the speaking skill. Go, we talked about this earlier in stream, but a lot of small chatters rely on their chat for commentary. And I think, like, my speaking has improved to the point where, like, I can expand on a topic for five minutes if I really wanted to. And then I, from that five minutes, I can, like, tie it into something else. Basically, it's fancy rambling. 
<laughs> so, um, I think it's definitely a skill that took me a long time to develop. Like we said earlier, it took literally ages for me to get affiliate. But I noticed once I finally quali qualified for affiliate, I had developed that speaking skill to a point that it was good enough to, to where I could like hold my own, right? <clears throat> because I know we bought the book of questions as a gag, but I haven't been able to use it as much as I thought it would. Because also, if you, the streamer, keep talking, it's going to encourage your chatters to, like, talk more as well. Meaning, if I see a chat message and you're talking about, let's say, potatoes, the delusional fox, um, if I'm able to expand for, like, five minutes, for example, and say, like, I talk about potatoes for two minutes and then I tie into, like, french fries, for example, then it's going to encourage you guys to say something else about french fries. It's kind of like an actual conversation, right? Yeah, live, laugh, love, love. <laughs> okay. Oh, dude, I almost- I grabbed the orange. I did not grab the red. That would have been devastating. Also, do you guys like these calligraphy streams? This is only the second one I've done. But I was not going to do them every month. But then some chatters who were here for last month's live, they were like, you know, it's kind of nice to just see you write cool shit. And I was like, I agree. <laughs> because I know Twitch is not necessarily known for like art streams or like creative streams. I think that is kind of shifting though. Um, <laughs> uncomfy, sad. Just don't do it, Lamau. <laughs> um, I feel it. You'll get through it, Issa. You'll get through it. Um, what was I gonna say? I forgot. Anyway, anyway. Oh, yeah. Twitch is not necessarily known for like creative or art streams. Oh, okay. Another reason why I didn't grow when I was, um, first streaming. I did only art streams. And the issue with art streams is yes, you are like showcasing your talent or your skill, but since you are genuinely focusing on like your actual art or whatever you're crafting, you're not necessarily talking or engaging as much. So yes, if you want to do art streams, go for it, but not a lot of people are going to watch if they don't know you or if they don't know your personality. Like if I did this stream, when I had, let's say, 50 followers, so probably an average of one viewer, literally no one would watch. There's a reason why we have more people in this stream today. It's because people who are in chat or lurking, you guys know who I am. So you already have an idea of like what my personality is based on my other streams or other content, right? But if you were to come in and this is like the first stream you see, you were like, is this the normal? You know, is, does she do calligraphy all the time? Um, Jay bought the robot. Um, so, yeah, there's a reason why art streams are not good if you want to start out streaming. Because, like, the reason why I did art streams when I first started, because I was streaming from a, Ma a MacBook Pro. So my MacBook Pro could literally not handle streaming. She could only- it was a MacBook 2017, so not a nice fancy MacBook, a five-year-old MacBook. So she could not handle- she could barely handle, like, streaming just a single face cam. It was bad. So, I feel like if I started streaming gaming right when I started, I feel like I could have grown faster. But also, once I started gaming streams, I didn't grow instantly. I think a lot of people think- that, ooh, if I stream a, a popular game, or a game that a lot of people like to watch, then I will grow, but actually, no limo. <laughs> um, it's all dependent on, like, like, your personality or your commentary. 
And that's just my opinion. I'm allowed to have wrong opinions. But also don't fight me, because I will win. <laughs> okay, I have been like riding way too slow and I feel bad, so we're gonna speed it up a little bit. I'll fight you in Mario Kart, in a video game. <laughs> yeah. We talked about it um, last week, but we might do another... I think doing monthly tournaments would be cool. But we're not going to do just a simple tournament every month. I think similar to my child... Oh, asymptomatic soul. I think an interesting concept would be... If all the chatters who choose to race, you guys took a scout's honor... And agreed to do whatever challenge I did. I.e., for example... If for a tournament we did like a no breaking tournament, so everyone would scout honor say you're not gonna break for the tournaments. Um, so something like that I think would be interesting and fun. That way it's just not the same thing every month. Um, that way it also gives people time to like practice, because the thing with doing like the challenge runs for Mario Kart is like there's definitely a learning curve to like kind of figure out how to like work around your handicap. Um. Like, for example, like, the no drifting challenge, that was definitely the most difficult. Because you're basically relying on braking and then hopping around the track. <laughs> no, you're fine, Vengeance. Like, I understand people play to win. Like, I don't- I genuinely hope no one was, like, salty about losing. Also, I got freaking fourth. I thought I would do worse. I got fourth place. So all of you motherfuckers who say I'm bad at Mario Kart can shut the fuck up. Like, I am decent. I placed fourth. I did not get third, but I got a solid fourth. Anyway, uh, Lacer Akko. <laughs> um, but you can feel free and participate. Feel free and sit out, sit out. Whatever makes you most comfortable, you know? Um, I, I think everyone was goofing and gaffing. I don't think anyone was mad. Because, like, right now we're getting new, a new page set up, so I'm, I'm drawing my guidelines right now. Um, as long as we don't have any, like, pro players, you know? Because I, I don't want anyone to have, like, an extreme advantage. Like, if anyone- that's also why I had follower mode enabled for chat. Because I didn't want people coming in just to play. I wanted it just for my viewers and regulars. Um. <laughs> so, yeah. Also, all the people who placed got their prizes distributed to them. So, we were able to figure that out. Vengeance, you weren't the only foreign person. <laughs> so... Don't feel bad about that. We also had another foreign person. Wait, can you guys see it? Uh, look at that S. It's perfect. It's literally perfect. Yeah, I agree. If there's any wigglers, we kick them. <laughs> I mean, can you even kick people from an online tournament? Can you? I don't know. Yeah, no problem. Because, like, I figured we would have people who are foreigners win. I'm from the States. That's why I'm saying foreigners, just to clarify, guys. <laughs> I'm, not I'm not xenophobic, I swear to God. Um, I figured we have foreigners. So, like, I had stuff figured out on how to, like, troubleshoot and get people their prize. <laughs> because, like, imagine, like, spending two hours with me. And, like, winning but not getting anything. You know. That would suck. I would feel bad. And, like, I don't want anybody to get upset or have their feelings hurt, you know? Hey, Taste of Rage. I think these, this person's from TikTok. We can remove them from the leaderboard. Let's go! <laughs> imagine. Imagine. I just remove everyone who placed before me and then I get first. Five head. <clears throat> What time is it? It's 1.40, okay. We got lots of time. Yeah, I didn't have anything planned for today, so I figured today was gonna go longer. But you know, it'd be like that. 
That's if I host it. Yeah, it was under my account, so... I have full control over everything. The J stencil. I, for the most part, I try to be as clear as I can be and transparent. That's why I have a lot of um, commands activated. If you do... Yeah, exclamation commands in chat, it links you to a list of all the commands I have. So if you have any, like, um, common questions, I usually have a command for it. Um... <clears throat> Like, we do have time to discuss stuff in further detail, but let's say someone wants to ask, like, about my YouTube and I can't expand on it, then I'll just be like, command YouTube. That way, like, people can find out on their own. Because, like, I'm not gonna stop what I'm doing in, like, a Mario Kart race and explain everything in, like, full detail. That's why, like, I think it's important for creators to have like as many commands as you can think of for like FAQs because like ultimately if you are giving your people more information then they're gonna become more invested in you in my opinion so job you have cereal <laughs> so like if I go into a stream and they have like no commands that's cringe <laughs> like you should at least have some commands set up like, as a test, whenever I go into a new stream, I always, like, test out a command to see if they have anything set up. Or, like, I will do exclamation commands in their chat to see what commands they have set up. Just so I can see what information they have. And also, if they have any commands that I don't have that I think might have been helpful for my chat. Okay, we have Zakadak01. <laughs> it's like Zakatak, but not. I'm so scared because these are my Ethernet mic and then headphone. Imagine if I accidentally unplugged my Ethernet cord. I would cry. Thankfully, I haven't done that yet. But also, like, my cable control. Is horrible. Like I like watching tech videos where they have like my dream setup, but mine is horrible. Like my cables could be way better, but I'm just like not worth. Oh, uh, do you have to start inking now, Issa? Sag. Honestly, I like inking more than graphite. Oh, no problem. I appreciate you coming in and hanging out with us today, Vengeance. Pleasure as always. Hope you have a good one. See, like, I like art assignments and then sometimes I don't because I feel like they can be, like, restricting to a certain capacity. But they do push you, which is good, which is fine, but it's not fun, you know? Because I'm the complete opposite. I like inks way more than graphite. Because with Graphite, you kind of have to use all the different grays that you can use. But with inks, 
you are restricted on how many like grays and like blacks you can make. So it feels like a bit more comfortable. Like I don't have to push myself as much. Mr. Saturn 8. Yeah, guys, if you are on desktop and you see words that don't make any sense, it's probably a third-party emote. So if you haven't already, download some of those third-party extensions and you'll see, like, Super Pago emotes on Twitch. <laughs> Shoutouts to the chatters who have short usernames. You guys make our lives so much easier. One, it's less for me to write, and also it's easier to remember your name as like a streamer. And usually, we just sort shorten your username by default. Like whenever I have a new chatter come in, I'm like, what are your names, like pronouns, and a nickname? Because like, if you have a long ass username, I'm not gonna say that every time. I mean, I can, but also I don't want to. <laughs> Okay, Ave or whatever. Yeah, you got a short username. You're cool for it. You're cool. We're playing by the book. I appreciate you guys being here with me today. I know today was a, an extra stream. I think it's wild that people stay here the whole time. Like, I appreciate- even if people come in just to say hi, that's cool, you know? It's just to see, like, people- like, being able to, like, recognize usernames as chat is, like, super nice to me. Because I didn't have that for the longest time. And I think it's such, like, a great, like, honor and privilege that you guys are choosing to spend your weekend with me, you know? Because when I was in school, I was very quiet, very antisocial. So, like, on the days when there was in school, I didn't talk to anybody. Because I didn't have many friends. I mean, that's just how it is when you're, like, super shy. Elastic Rem. Um, but it's cool that you guys are choosing to spend your weekend with me. It's another page done. We're adding our guidelines now. Okay, I know I'm going a little bit slower today, but it's because I know I don't have to write 200 plus usernames this time. I only have to write 100. Well, this person's from TikTok. I think, okay. The thing with when I, at the size I'm at, I'm still really small. Mind you, I'm very small. But it's very easy to like forget there's a person behind every username or there's a person behind like every like you get on a sh on a video right but it's nice seeing like familiar usernames or like similar icons because this person that i'm writing right now i see them liking my tiktoks all the time they don't comment i haven't seen them in stream yet but i know because i see their icon and i'm just like oh they like the videos that's cool um TLDR, I pay attention. <laughs> also, if you're from TikTok and you like the videos, leave a comment. Oh, it's not even on screen. Sorry, I did not realize it was cropped off screen. I'll fix that. Um, if you're on the free from the TikTok, like, leave a comment. Because, like, comments? Okay. I can talk about the algorithm because we're not on TikTok. But the TikTok algorithm, it loves comments. Because if somebody leaves a comment, then that means, one, they've most likely, like, looped the video at least once. Because the video's open behind them as they're leaving a comment. And also, like, if you're taking your time to, like, engage with the video further, it shows that the content is good to the algorithm. Sam Mosa Boy. So, like, leave something funny. Because I think my favorite part about... Like, TikTok comments, for me as a creator, 
Dude, it's it's cringe calling me a creator. I'm not a creator. Don't call me that shit. Um, because I think the comment section is another way to showcase your personality. Because I usually will leave like really trolly comments up. Um, because I think it's fun to like banter a little bit. Yes, you are doing God's work, Issa. <laughs> you are helping push videos into the algorithm when you leave comments. Um. <laughs> Um, anyway, I think it's funny because, like, the first thing I do whenever I look at, at a TikTok is look at the comments, right? Because I want to see what other people think about the video. So if I, the creator, see that I'm taking my time to reply to every single comment and also engaging with them in a way that is also entertaining, like, I try and, like, goof and gaff in my comment section as well. It's kind of like tying back into um, like chat culture, where you're gonna wanna like bounce off with your chat box as well. So I find on the videos on one where I get a lot of comments just in general, and then also where I reply to every comment, it does well. Especially if I get like a comment from somebody who's not following, if they see that I'm taking the time to reply to that comment and engage with them in a way that's entertaining in my reply, then they are more likely to drop a follow. Because in their mind, they're like, oh, this person who doesn't know me, they are still like, spending that time to give me attention and also like engage with me, right? Because I know it can get kind of exhausting to reply to like every single tweet or comment you get, but it'll help you in the long run when you're still small and growing. Like, yes, you can like people's comments, but that is not as impactful as a reply, right? Okay, this username is not going to fit. Okay. Their username is I like video games, so let's dab. <laughs> it's not going to fit the rest, so I'll cut it off here. <laughs> um... Okay, this one is looking kind of whack. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this O is straight, that N is straight, but then this one is at a slight slant. That is not good calligraphy. Don't do that shit. Because when there's like, because it's kind of like italicized um, typing. If you have in your sentence like a regular straight font and then an italicized one in the middle, it looks weird, right? So, if you're doing calligraphy, make sure all your letters are either all straight or all slanted and at the same angle. Otherwise, it looks funky. Okay, lesson time over. <laughs> it does take a while to um, learn how to like hold your brush in a way that way you're consistent. Like, as you can see, even though I've been writing at like the same slant for about 40 minutes now, um, you can see that not all my letters look the same. The most important thing for calligraphy is having consistency in your lettering, whether it be like the height of your letters or like your slant. Yes, not all your letters, like not all your A's are going to look the same, but it kind of saves it if they're all the same height or the same slant. Because having your letters not look exactly the same is a lot more subtle than your letters being at a different slant. It's a lot more noticeable if they're not at the same angle. Okay, Zona Relink. I love usernames with Z's in them. They're my favorite. Okay, a lovely short username. Thank God, thank God. I needed a break. I think we have Kaidi.
Okay, we have A54. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. Also, when you guys are making usernames, don't put numbers instead of letters. It's really fucking confusing. Also, it's bad for branding. Like, I know it's cute and quirky, but if you're using it for branding, don't put a number instead. Like, don't put an I or don't put a 1 instead of an I. That's fucking cringe. Because everyone's going to misspell your username. They're going to get your at wrong on Twitter. Just don't do it. What's my favorite color? Green. Actually, this shade of green, this kind of like almost sea, no, not sea foam, this kind of like grass green, very bright. This is actually my favorite shade. I think it's because I like nature a lot. Like, if I had spending money, I would have plants in my room. Like, I don't ha literally have so many plants. But green is definitely my fave. I know, like, green is not the best color to wear. Oh, okay. I think my favorite- Okay. As with most people, I think black is a pretty good color to wear because, like, it hides- hi It hides shadows and highlights. Um. But I find my- Look at my closet. Let's see. I have a lot of blue in my closet. Mainly because I'm sad. <laughs> um. I like patterns. I love floral. Like, this is a floral romper. Um. I, like, literally, it was a point in time in which, like, 75% of my closet was floral print. It was bad. And then I had a good handful of um, plaid shirts. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that username is up for grabs. <laughs> Go for it. Just don't be mean about it. Like, don't post bad shit. I do have an alt account. If anybody wants to find it, go for it. I only do test streams on there. So, like, anytime I'm doing, like, a tech check, I do it on my alt. Aguire Copper. Okay, streamers. It is fucking cringe when you do a test stream on your main and title your stream, Test stream! Ooh, woo! It's fucking stupid. Like, you're hurting your numbers, you're hurting your average, and I don't want to come into a stream when I think it's gonna be, like, a fun gaming stream, but it's just tech techs. Tech checks. It's stupid. Do it on an alt. Anyway, that's my TED talk. <laughs> Let's go, Issa. How many more you got? Just four? You gotta do like five or ten. Um, yeah, so I have an alt account. It's public. I don't give a shit if you find it. The username is pretty straightforward. But I never stream on it because it's not often where I have to do a tech check. Wouldn't it be crazy if we filled this journal one day? Imagine. I've been saying imagine less. You know why? Actually. <laughs> I, I need a break. I need a break. Let's let's take a quick break, actually. Okay. You know why I've been saying imagine less? I wanna do a monthly segment where um where is it? Oh, right here, right here. Okay. Let's pause the music. Why is the video three hours in? Did I, like... Oh, it's because I started, like, 40 minutes ago. I started... Because I watched the video anyway. Okay. Let me find the clip that I made. Oh, right here, right here. It's, it's a miskiff clip. It's a miskiff clip. It's fucking good, okay. Let's take a break. Let's take a break. <laughs> okay, okay. So, I'm a clip chimper. I love going into streams that I enjoy watching, and I love clipping shit. As you can see, I will title it really clip baby, right? This is from two weeks ago. This, I felt so genuinely called out in the, in the moment. Can you guys see it? Is it craft bed? Okay, there it is. So let's take a break. Knows a lovely viewer in chat when they say imagine billboard hot 200. I've never said imagine anything, dude. Besides maybe imagine dragons. I, you can always know a lud buds in chat when they say imagine. And number one on the soundtracks chart, selling 67,000 units in the first week. The song on the. I always know there's a lot of. It's so good. 
Because literally, when I started watching Switch, I watched Ludwig all the time. And ever since I started watching Ludwig, I started seeing Imagine. So I legit felt so called out. Anyway, done with break. Break to tell her. Oops, wrong one. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that, that clip is so good. I had to clip it. I had to. Are you guys having fun? Having fun chilling? <laughs> yeah, no more feet. <laughs> what I wanted to do as a gag is a, is blacklist the word feet. So anytime you tried to type feet in chat today, you would just get like auto deleted. <laughs> I thought that'd be so funny. <clears throat> but I didn't because I was like, I'm going to be nice today. I'm feeling chaotic neutral today, so I'm not going to be evil. Okay, I think this user is another TikTok frog. Because I see them like my videos all the time. Talking about TikTok, it's almost time to post one. So I usually post, like, a TikTok at around 7.30 in the morning, my time. And then around 2 p.m. 2 or 3 p.m. So I find those are the times in which my followers are most active. So usually if I post at that time, my videos perform decent. Okay, Risky Biscuit 420. <laughs> New page! Is it on screen? Yes, it is. There we go. I didn't flub this time. <laughs> Another reason why I get really anxious is because I stream from my laptop, so I don't have like a dual PC setup. I could have bought a good, decent PC with the money I spent on my laptop, but I wanted the portability because the idea of having, um, like a two monitors a big pc and like it is too much it was overwhelming for me to think about and like having to build it uh, okay because like you can't get a pc pre-built but everyone shits on you for that so i was like i feel like it's easier to explain me buying a laptop than getting a pre-built pc Anyway, so since I don't have a dual monitor set up, all my tabs are overlapping. Like right now, my tab that has my followers list is covering my streaming list or my streaming platform tab. That way I can see chat. Because if I cover up chat, then that's bad. Okay, we have Jenahara. Because for the followers, I have, have it very big on my screen because I'm blind. Like, that's why you'll see me, like, looking over because I, I literally cannot see very far. And yes, I could zoom in and make the font bigger. But then it's going to zoom in too much. And then I can't see everything else. I just like to make things hard for myself, I guess. I'd be like that. That's an interesting look, with the center line and the E being up higher than the center. That's a look. I don't know if I like it, 
Because, like, see how the T and then that center line lines up? That does look nice, but it doesn't line up with the tops of those letters. I don't like it. I'm not doing like this anymore. From now on, center lines and the E will go in the center, not on the second bar. I think what's also cool about calligraphy, it kind of reminds me of, like, when you're learning how to write letters in kindergarten. And you're like, ooh, draw on the hat line. Or the shoe line. Yeah. It's also because my mom works for a kindergarten class. So she uses that language all the time. <laughs> Pink starry eyes. 89. Who was short username? Thank God, thank God. Thank you, chatters. I love short usernames. There's a train. Parkour! Look how fast I wrote that one was. Sorry, I messed up. I said, look how fast I wrote that one. <laughs> Minty21. <laughs> Imagine being a small child. <laughs> yeah. I was very small when I was little. Like, I didn't, like, get the big until puberty. Like, I was a little shrimp. Because, like, the reason why... Okay. The reason why I started gaining weight... Because, one, puberty. And also... Because, like, in fourth grade... I went to a different school, and at this new school, they let you have two servings of lunch if you want. You could get an extra portion. I thought it was free. It was not free. And my mom yelled at me because like, she got charged an extra hundred bucks one month. So no more seconds after that. But <laughs> eating, because like I was hungry. I was also going through puberty, so like... I mean, after that, I've always been like a bit overweight. Nothing concerning. The reason why my, my BMI is so high is because like I'm so short. I'm 5'2". Like, if I, would, if I was, like, 5'8 at my weight, I'd be healthy. But since I'm so short, I just gotta take the L. This one came out really pretty. I like writing K's. I think K's are really nice. But they got two underscores in their name. Kinda cringe. <laughs> I think underscores are a little bit cringe, but I had to put an underscore in my name because someone else had peace in 17. And they literally don't have a profile pic. They have not been active for years. Don't even freaking stream. So that's why I have that's why I have an underscore. Dude, if I ever become a millionaire, I want to buy Peace in 17 without the underscore. That is what I'm going to spend my money on. Okay, we got Denki Charge Bolt. I like this music a lot. Oh, we got Vengeance! Oh, wait, this is a. This is not an updated list because Vengeance unfollowed and then followed again for a gag. But you know, I guess. <laughs> Wait, Furman, you're coming up soon. You're like three names away. Nah, I guess we'll write Vengeance is now, even though they try to troll a little bit. You know what I think is funny? I said at top of stream that I'm trying something today where I'm not going to change my stream channel and keep it like the main premise of the stream, which is the calligraphy. Um, what I did notice today is since I kept that title for the whole stream, even when we did like You Laugh, You Lose and Animal Crossing, a lot of people came in 
and then instantly left. Because <laughs> I figured that's what would happen today. Because um, I put in the title, not clickbait. <laughs> so technically, I was clickbaiting, but not really. Lamo. <laughs> Dude, I'm so evil. But today was kind of like a test. Since it's an extra stream, also the first stream of the month. Um, I wanted to see what would happen. <laughs> Because like I said earlier, like, Mizkiv title says stream, Moist Critical is here, but Critical does not show up for five hours. So, can I not clickbait a little bit? <laughs> um, we're talking about quality. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, we got Vengeance and Spog. They were in chat earlier. Shoutouts. They placed first in the Mario Kart tournament, tournament last Sunday. We got Sunny Plays, zero underscore zero. I think that's kind of cute. It's kind of cringe to have the little face, but I think it's kind of cute. They look like they'd be a Tumblr kid. <laughs> or since Tumblr is kind of dead, probably a Discord kid. Okay, let's get on to the next page. We are zooming right now. Part of the appeal of this stream too. If I, okay, if one of my creators did something like this too, I would watch the stream because like the hype of Sig mining being written. Like the last time we did the stream, I had somebody in here. I think it was Rose, who like was here with me for like five hours, <laughs> like one to chill with me and keep me company, but also like because her name was like at the very end of the list, and it was cute. It was cute. Okay, that's not even on screen. Oopsie. <laughs> I think that's kind of like also the appeal. Like you ever see like a TikTok live and they'll be like writing like people's names like Susan or Sally or Bobby. And it's like people in chat. So like, I guess just seeing your name written all nice and shit is cool. It's kind of like, you know, when you go to the fair and they have the people who write your name in like characters or they just write your name in like fancy lettering. I think it's kind of like that. Like a similar appeal. Okay, we have Munchkins. And then, now we have Furman! Hi Scott! Welcome to stream, hope you're doing well today. If you're still here, Furman, we're working on yours right now. And if you're on mobile, Sag, you have a 10 second delay. <laughs> Dude, I can literally never watch Twitch on mobile. It's so not fun. Like, if I'm chatting, I have to be on desktop. But if I'm just listening to a stream in the background, then I might use mobile. Otherwise, I'm on, always on desktop. <laughs> yes, yeah, very epic. Yeah, Furman33, let's go. Man, you were li here live to see your name? Crazy. But I appreciate you hanging out with me today, Fern. I really do. 
As I said earlier, these calligraphy streams are usually a bit more chill, but it's nice to have chatters and people enjoying, lurking, watching. Yo, look up! Okay, you can't really see it because it's yellow. Oh fuck, I really fucked up the tail on that one. I was trying to speed run, but then I threw... Reset the run. We're gonna start all over, guys. We're gonna do all 350 all over again. Esmeralda is here. God damn, I haven't thrown in a long time. That E, that tail, you can't really see. But see how the tail is not like tapered out? It's not like a point. It's almost like a full stroke. Bad. Really bad. I need to get good. Anyway, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. I need to stop molding. Keep going. Support the homie. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I would. I want to do more weekend streams. But, like, everyone is home right now and it's really awkward. You know? Because our house is really small. So, I know for sure my sister can hear me. Cause she'd be like, you talk too fucking loud. And I'll be like, I know. It's because my mic is a foot away from me. I'm not like... If, if, okay, if this were my stream, I'd be, this is how close I have to be to my fucking mic. So I have set it, I have it set up to where I can be a good amount of distance away. Cause I, I posted, I talked about it on the TikTok I posted today actually. Exclamation TikTok in chat if you're not following, go fucking follow. Anyway. <laughs> um... Because I think it looks low-key unprofessional if your mic is in your frame. Low-key, high-key. Like, I know it's part of the appeal of being a niche streamer, but, like, it doesn't look good. Like, I don't want to see the mic in your frame. Granted, I have nothing going on right now. Like, I don't have a background. But, like, I just think having a mic in frame is eh. Yeah, I hear a bit. And also, it looks phallic. Let's, let's call it that. Um, I don't want people to, like, clip shit. Or make memes. You know? Let's not talk about it. Let's end it there. <laughs> but, yeah, this is my opinion. Because if you can, like, set up your mic in a way to where it's still, like, pretty clear and you don't need to be right up in its face, like, go for it. Because, like, it's also uncomfortable to, like, talk into a mic. It, I know for me, if I had to do it that way, like, it would make me so uncomfortable. Because, um, I don't have a soundboard. I don't know what it's called. But it's, like, an external USB you can plug into your computer. To where you'll have, like, the same, like, manual settings on your mic in whatever application you use. I don't have one of those because I don't have enough USB ports. Like, right now, I have a USB for my mic, a USB for my game capture card, and then a USB for my camera capture card. So I don't have enough USB ports to do that live. Um, that is why I don't have like an external whatever the fuck it's called. Um, so like whenever I'm in a Discord call with people, I have to like talk in the mic and I don't like it. It makes it awkward and uncomfy. And I know if I had to do that for stream, I would be so uncomfortable. Because I don't like mouth sounds. I love Amarin. I freaking love her. But I cannot watch her ASMR segments. I can't do it. I don't like the the, the sounds. I can't do it. Uh, Michelle Stu won. <laughs> like, I know a lot of people shit on Amarin. But honestly, go off. On No, don't be mean to her. That's not what I meant. I meant, let her do whatever the fuck she wants. Like, let her get that bag. You're just jealous that you aren't as, like, cool as her. Honestly. Because I'm a, pro I'm a progressive, if you guys don't know that. Um, let people do whatever they want as long as it's legal. Like, if you don't like the content, shut up and don't watch. It's easy. Just X out the tab. I don't understand what the difficulty is. Like, don't shit on people if they're not doing anything wrong. Yeah, period. Exactly. Like, I think- Okay, I think the only person you could shit on 
is if they're doing actual illegal shit or Keemstar. Keemstar is scum, little trash. Um, otherwise, if they aren't doing anything illegal, let them be. Like, yes, some stuff is scummy, but also, like, if it's not illegal, like, whatever. <laughs> Queen pop up, yeah. I almost made this L into a T and I would have cried. Because I have yet to mess up a name today so far. I spelled everything correctly. The only kind of mess up was this E, but otherwise, I haven't messed up. And we're not gonna mess up. Okay. We gotta cross the T. Go Splat 22. Also, last thing I'll say about Ammo, I got one of her gifted subs. Like, when she dropped, like, a 50 sub bomb, I got one of them, and I was so happy I screenshotted it. Because <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I got a gifted sub from Emirates. oh my god. <laughs> I still have that screenshot on my phone, I think. I think that's why. I also like the gifting sub gimmick that I'll sometimes do for streams. I know we're doing gifted subs for the SM3 to World stream, so if you are new to chat, exclamation schedule in chat to see what day I'm- or what games I'm streaming on what day. Um, because on Friday, when we did the Every Game Over I Gift Chat subs for 3D World, I gifted chat 7 subs because one fucking level made me lose 25 lives, so I game over 5 times! So, seven people got gifted subs for me. So cool. Um. So, yeah. <laughs> Hop into those streams. Because the way gifted subs work, yes, it's cool if you can afford to sub. If not, totally fine. But in order to, like, the odds to get a gifted sub more likely, one, they usually give it to people who engage in chat. They usually give it to people who lurk a lot. Or, um... So basically, if you're in a stream more, the odds of you getting a gifted sub from like the random prize pool is higher. Uh, did you get one on Thursday or Friday? Let's go, Fur. Let's go. Because like, honestly, a big reason why I like gifting subs is because one, I like seeing my emails in chat. I'm a narcissist, low-key, high-key. Joking, not joking. <laughs> I'm not. I swear to God, I'm not. Anyway. I like seeing my emails in chat. And also, um... I think it's cool to like reward your viewers to a some capacity. Like, I'm not gonna do giveaways because I think giveaways are cringe. But I will gladly give subs occasionally. Because ultimately, okay. Big brain. Big brain. If you received a gifted sub, aren't you more likely to watch the stream? Because one, you get ad free viewing. So you're like, cool, no ads, let's go. Also, if you are given emotes and they are taken away, wouldn't you- and you like- and you like the emails, like you genuinely like them. Wouldn't you be more likely to resubscribe on your own? Use your brain. Doesn't that make sense? I think that's plausible. I think I've had maybe two people resubscribe after I gave them a gifted sub because they wanted to keep the emotes. So, I think, big picture, it'll pay off in the long run. Actually, I- okay, we got another page done. Um, I looked at how many subs I gifted myself. And, um, I was wondering where the ads went, Laval. Yeah, exactly. Um, I was looking at how many subs I gifted my own channel. I've gifted myself 50 subs. Isn't that crazy? So I've spent, I've been, okay, I've invested, um, at least $250 into my channel from just subs. Isn't that crazy? Like, if you- okay, there's a panel on my about page that, like, lists, like, my top gifters for, like, the month or eternity, and I think I'm at the top. <laughs> but hey! Talking about ads! You guys know what time it is? We're about three hours into stream. It's time to run an ad, baby! <laughs> Dude, my chair was rolling too far. Okay. So, an ad is coming. You guys know how to avoid that ad. You can subscribe for just $4.99 just $5 a month. 
skip a coffee tomorrow and get ad reviewing all month long. And you get super cool sub only emotes. Or if we have any secret Oilers want to gift chat subs. We are very close to 50 subs. If we hit 50 subs today, because a, a few of these subs will expire today. Um, if we hit 50, if we break our sub goal, then we will have three new emote slots unlocked. We'll get two regular emotes and then one new animated. So if subs, you want more emotes, we have to hit 50. Because I think this is the closest we will get to 50 in a long time. Because we did have the birthday stream last week, so we got a good handful from the birthday stream. That's just a gentle reminder. Okay. Anyway. Also, we do have TTS enabled for donations. So if you guys want to try it, go for it. Say something funny. Or don't. <laughs> okay, we will see some of you guys in a few. Okay, back to it. Back to work. Did I even read out that name? I don't think I did. We have Gabby TR76. Saj, I forgot. My floor is slightly slanted, so anytime I try and like scoot forward on my chair, I roll way too far. There's a clip to where I did a gag where I like spun around in my chair. Kinda like the Meg spin emote. But I clipped my desk and I literally almost knocked my whole desk over. It was bad. Thankfully, I didn't, but still, I, it scared me shitless, dude. Yeah, I've been sitting in the same position for an hour now, and my foot is asleep. Chatters, if you've been here for a while, make sure you get some water and stretch, please. Go do it. Get a snack if you need it, too. Okay, let's get to drawing. Thankfully, my hand hasn't started cramping yet. Granted, we are only an hour in, so... My stomach is growling. Sag. I do have snacks. I also have my juice, so I think I'm fine. Anybody in chat like mod pizza? I love it. I had mod pizza for the first time a few months ago because one opened in my area. Because the closest one was in like the next town over, so I never had like the opportunity to try it. But mod pizza, pretty fucking good. Because like the concept of having like the crust be more like a tortilla, so amazing. Like it's so crispy. Like I had leftovers this morning for breakfast and it was still really crispy. Like even after I didn't heat it up, it was so good. And I like the concept of having, like, unlimited toppings for, like, a single price. So. I usually go out on my pizzas. Like, I usually go ham. A month all ten. Not go ham. I usually get, like, um, mine is crazy. My pizza order is wild. Like, I'm the order you'll see in the kitchen. They were like, what the fuck is wrong with this person? <laughs> you know what fix your growling stomach? No bottles and yogurt. <laughs> I think it's so funny that you remember that bit. For one day, you're gonna like die when I actually do it. <laughs> if I do it, I'm definitely gonna. I think, okay, if I film it and make a TikTok video, wouldn't that pop off? Because, like, it's kind of like the food hack videos, right? Imagine, imagine I post that video that I make and I get a million views. I think that would be viral video material. Like the Neapolitan yogurt. I genuinely think so. Sorry, this username is weird. Yes, exactly. Pineapple on pizza goaded. I, okay, mods, let's run a poll. Mods, I mean me. Okay, we're gonna run a poll. We will. Oh, we will do this poll occasionally. Pineapple on. Okay, I know this is this is a standard question. Everyone asks this. But pineapple on pizza? Yes or no? You guys got three minutes to vote. I vote yes. Pineapple on pizza is good. I'm allowed to vote in my own poll. Poll is up. Go vote chat. We have three yeses? Okay, okay. 
I'll wait forever for Neapolitan yogurt. Well, you'll be here forever then, Fur. <laughs> no, no, no. What I do, what I do, is I buy everything for the yogurt, right? I pretend I'm gonna do it, and then I don't. Like, I, I, okay, let's say I pretend I put it into, like, an empty ice cream carton, and then I open the carton, and it's just, like, a troll face. That'd be a good gag. We have six for yes? Okay? No? Nobody's saying no? Okay, we got pineapple lovers in chat. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> if anybody says no, you have to defend yourself. Like, you have to explain to me why it's bad. I like pineapple on pizza because, one, I I like a, like a little bit of juice. And also, I personally am such a big fan of sweet and savory combos. Okay, so we have the theater kid. Oh, it's the theater kid without an A. That's actually kind of cute, the theater kid. Um, I just like savory and sweet combos. Anyway, so my mod pizza order is mozzarella, asiago, ricotta, nope. Not ricotta. Yeah, it is ricotta cheese. Um, pineapple, spinach, sometimes olives if I'm feeling it. Ham, bacon, impossible sausage. Get this. I get anchovies. I know, crazy, isn't it? Because just that burst of salt is addicting. And they usually only put like four anchovies. So you're just like, ooh, this bite has like a burst of flavor. Because I never was allowed to get anchovies on my pizza because no one else likes it. But when I get my own pizza, okay, I don't eat a whole pizza in one sitting. I'm not that bad. Um, But I will get anchovies that they have available because not all pizza places have anchovies <laughs> I'm glad we have no pineapple haters in chat and if you are and just not voting good decision <laughs> yeah, I don't know how close we are to the end honestly Uh, we got six for yes and zero for no. Good job, chatters. I'm glad you guys agree with me. Like I said earlier, if you don't agree with me, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, I will argue people a little bit, but you can only push me so far. Oh my god, this reminds me. There was- okay, if you guys are from TikTok, you have got to see- There's one clip that popped off. It got like- a thousand, Hundreds of thousands of views. Um, and it was me talking about being poor and getting food from the food drive in school. And my main point was, um, Tower of Pluto. My main point was that it's kind of cringe and kind of mean that low-key high-key that the food drives in school will kind of like shame the people who can't afford to donate because they're fucking poor, right? Because like, you know when you're in elementary and like the class who donated the most food would get like a pizza party or like an ice cream party. And it's like, yeah, that's cool. Like incentives are fine, but also like it feels bad if you can't donate, right? Like there was one time... It wasn't me, mind you, it wasn't me. Because this year I could afford to donate one can. But there was one student who couldn't donate anything because they couldn't afford to, right? And like the other kids were like teasing him because he didn't donate and like the class lost by like five cans or something. And like they were giving him shit because he couldn't donate five cans. Um, so it's like, I understand that yes, incentives are good to an extent, but also you're not helping like the kids who can't afford to donate. And like a lot of the times, the food that is donated doesn't necessarily go to the students. It'll go to like a local food drive. Like I like the food drives where like the food that the school donates will actually go to the students who actually need it. Um, not all food school drives are run that way, but I think it's cool when the food the students donate go to other students who need it. Um, yeah. Anyway, so there's one little fucker, and like the because like a lot of the comments I got on that video were nice and like supportive. They're like, "Ooh, I was poor too," and I'm like, "All about relatable." Anyway, so I had one guy comment, and he's like, but still, incentives are important, and like, I don't care about kids' feelings getting hurt. And I was like, ooh, we got somebody who wants to debate, right? So I'm like, 
Hey, bud. Dude, imagine if I said, hey, bud. Dude, that would fucking... That's like a power move right there. Anyway, I didn't say that. So I was like, hey, I understand your point, but also... Um, incentives... Um are important but also like my main point was that like other kids got like teased or bullied because they couldn't afford to donate and he's like well i still don't care about kids feeling bad like it's about like people getting free food and i was like for me you literally don't understand my point and like if you can find the thread don't give the guy shit don't shit on him don't do that shit don't be mean only i can be mean to people <laughs> only i can debate thank you for clipping i appreciate it Issa. only i can debate um, <laughs> and like he just kept going back and forth and like he wouldn't back down from his point and it's like you don't understand what I'm saying like there are kids who not necessarily have trauma from it but like they have bad memories about getting teased or ostracized because they were too poor like it's, it's classism anyway I was, I was I got annoyed because like on that video that was like the one video where I did get sexist comments like, the sexist comments I got, they were like, of course, Labau, a video with a woman getting hundreds of thousands of views, haha. -ha. And I was like, oh, okay, you are obviously sexist, let's delete this one. Because what's nice about having control of your own comment section is you can delete whatever you want. So yes, you can say mean shit, but it doesn't have to stay up. I can easily delete and censor. <laughs> no, don't, don't joke about it. Don't, don't give people shit. I appreciate the sentiment, but like, don't don't go to war for me. <laughs> um, but honestly, to find that comment, it's like it's like at the bottom, and that video has like hundreds and hundreds of comments on it. You know why? Because I replied to every single fucking one. Anyway, because <laughs> like we said earlier, if you give people attention, they're more likely to see that when you're genuinely engaging with them, and also. They're more likely to give you a follow. Because when you show that you care about your audience, then people are going to want to stay. And keep coming back or keep enjoying your videos. Um, anyway. So, like, I will... Like, I will debate people sometimes. Because I feel like I can change their mind. Okay, one crazy comment I got on it that I, I tried to, like, help. But then I had to delete the thread after because one guy was basically saying, what was it? It was something really bad. And I thought I could like change their mind. It was basically like, he's like, well, people shouldn't be having kids if they can't afford to feed them. They're evil. If they can't afford to feed their kids. And like that comment on its own is like, whoa, okay, you have issues on your own that you need to figure out. But also maybe I can help this person, right? So I replied with, um, yeah, it was wild. It was wild. And I got it at like 2 a.m. And I logged into TikTok at 4 a.m. And I was like, let me try and help this person. <laughs> so I replied to the comment. I was like, you know, a lot of times, um, one, yes, a kid can be planned. But also, you don't plan on being homeless. You don't plan on being in poverty. Like, life happens, right? Um, so even if you start off with, like, a good living, you don't know what's going to happen later in life. Like, there is... Oh, that's basically what I said. I'm expanding on the topic further. But, like, maybe there's, like, a death in your family. Maybe you get laid off. Maybe there's, like, a pandemic where you lose your job. A lot of stuff is out of your control. Anyway, Lorenzo the Cat King. And so I basically replied with, you know, hey, life happens. Sometimes poverty happens to you. Sometimes homelessness happens to you. Like, people don't choose to be poor. Who who in the right mind would choose to be poor? Maybe to, gov to get government benefits, but also benefits are shit. So anyway, and then the guy replied with, he's like, well, they are still evil and they should die. And I was like, okay, dude, let's delete this one and like uh, report this guy. <laughs> so because I think people will say like negative shit to get one, get a reaction or they're projecting their own insecurities or doubts, right? And there are different approaches you can take, right? Like you can try and comfort or console. Um... Before we talk about shit, um, exclamation this in chat, um, I try and keep stream pretty light, um, I understand there are times where, like, we do get into, like, heavier discussions, but please don't share stuff you aren't comfortable with, don't share stuff that is too deep, I am not your therapist. Anyway, 
just a quick PSA before I go further into this topic. Um, but I feel like, one, I'm very awkward, but I feel like I know what to say in terms of, I know what to say. If I say something, I, there's oh, there's going to be like a few ways they're going to react or reply to what I said, right? Um, so for example, with that specific instance, I tried to reply in a way that was constructive and also educational. Because obviously the person who commented that if you can't afford to feed your kids or evil lacks perspective, right? They either grew up with privilege or they grew up in extreme poverty and they have like their own sense of hatred towards their own upbringing. So in that specific reply, I replied educational and like try to like change their perspective and by giving them perspective, right? But obviously this person has so much like negativity in their mind whether it be based on their own experiences or biases, that they can look past it and gain a new perspective. Um, because I figured they were gonna react that way. Because it, it takes a lot for someone to like look back and, and acknowledge the negativity. Like, yeah. Anyway, so we have low lunar. <laughs> oh, we're getting close. We're getting close. We're at followers from a week ago, from Sunday. Let's go, we're getting close to the end, guys. We're speedrunning, we're, we're gonna speedrun now. Anyway, um, there was one comment. Okay, <laughs> there's one clip that did really well on TikTok, and it got me a lot of followers from TikTok to Twitch. And the clip was me saying, jokingly, jokingly, being like, because someone asked me, Mario cosplay when? And then I jokingly said, um, when I hit a million followers, Lamau. And from that one clip, I gained like 10 Twitch followers and then like 100 TikTok followers. followers. And I didn't realize that that clip would be intentionally baited. Hi, Ethan. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well today. Yeah. Um, thank you for coming in today. Yeah, Mario Tournament was fun, huh? <laughs> we'll do them sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. But I'm glad you had fun with it, Ethan. Um. Oh, you came over from that clip? Of course you did, Fur. Of course you did. <laughs> but thank you. I appreciate you enjoying the stream. And enjoying the clips. Anyway. So, I didn't realize that that clip would be seen as, like, baiting people to follow. Because I don't think that way. Like, a lot of the times I think about things at service level. And you don't really think about things until someone tells you their interpretation, right? And after I started getting comments for like, oh, I followed you, or I followed your Twitch, I was like, oh, I understand what I did wrong now. <laughs> and then one guy, and then I jokingly said in the clip, I was like, imagine if I get a hundred, if I, imagine if I get a million followers, imagine how much money I'd make, haha, <laughs> and I giggled. Or I snickered. And like, I was joking, obviously joking. You could tell by my tone that I was joking. I'm lost pet underscore. Anyway. Um... That you need to practice driving? No! I I placed higher than you, Ethan. Don't tell me that I need to practice. You need to practice, homie. <laughs> I know you're goofing, I know you're goofing. Anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> you're like, stepping back. You're like, fuck! I'm making Mega Man now. I, I figured you meant yourself, but... <laughs> that was good, that was good. Anyway. So, one person commented. They were like... Kind of weird how you instantly talked about money. And then I was like, true. Because I was like, okay. In my head, this guy is one, trolling. Or they're like trying to like get me to start a fight, right? So with a comment like that, in my head, I was like, okay, let's, let's think. I think the best response in that instance is to correct myself. Meaning, I need to expose and I need to emphasize like empathy and also reflection. So I think I commented something like, you know, I'm not very social. So a lot of the times I will say something and not understand like the different connotations or meanings until after I say it and reflect on it. So I was like, thank you for pointing that out. I didn't mean to come across as like snarky or like, or like unappreciative for a following. And he's like, oh, not a problem. He was like, you know, I'm glad you, he's like, no, I get it. He's like, I'm glad you're, you like understand why it's not okay to say that or joke like that. I was like, yeah, exactly. Um, so there's different approaches you have to take to different types of, like, negative or trolly comments. Like, sometimes you have to, like, educate them 
or reply in a way that, like, emphasizes humility and, like, reflection. Because that guy could have, like, kept fighting. He could have been like, oh, you're fucking stupid for not realizing that you were being egotistical. But since I um, emphasized that I, like, understood what he meant and, like, actually reflected, he was like, oh, you're fine, you're fine. I didn't realize. But yeah. So that's why. If someone is, like, coming at you online and, like, wanted to start a fight, like, don't egg them on. Like, don't do that. Like, if you reply with compassion or kindness, then you did nothing wrong. Right? But if you fight, they're gonna fight back. It's kind of like in school. <laughs> Why are you redeeming that now, Ethan? I'm gonna I'm gonna refund you that. <laughs> Why are you, you're literally wasting your points? <laughs> I gave you a refund, Ethan. I'm foolish. Thing seventy eight. We are getting near the end. I think we probably have like twenty left. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go to get my guidelines started. Um, but anyway. TLDR, just be nice to people online. This it's not worth being mean. Like, for the most part, you're just projecting your own insecurities or doubts. Hi, Ethan. <laughs> um. So just be nice. I don't understand why it's so difficult for some people. And like, especially on Twitter too. Like, I tend to keep to myself. Um, if I see somebody being dog on, I don't give my own take on it, because it's like, if someone is already getting enough shit, you don't know, like, what's going to be the pushing point for them, meaning you don't know what's going to, like, cause them to have a breakdown or whatever, right? And it's like, I don't want to be the comment to make someone upset, right? Yeah, exactly. On TikTok, some people, I said the story earlier, but some guy was just going back and forth with me in a, in a comment thread. Because he wasn't understanding, like, my POV. And a lot of the time, when you see, like, a thread and it's someone, like, being argumentative, you, or the commenter, is making themselves look so naive if they're not willing to acknowledge my point, right? So they're just making themselves look bad. Because I can understand that, like, someone is being, like, criticizing you, but there's a difference between, like, being critical but also not acknowledging, like, other people's perspectives. Okay, we got Castifer. And, like, hands down, the, like, meanest comments on any platform I will get are on YouTube. Um, I, I have dis debated if I want to disable YouTube comments. At this point, I don't really want to. Because, similar to, like, how I do my TikTok videos, I have, like, a plug in the YouTube comments to be like, hey, if you like this clip, go check out my Twitch. That's basically what my go-to comment is. But if I disable comments on YouTube, then I can't post that extra plug. So, cause like, the meanest things I'll get on YouTube is like bad comments, but it's like, whatever. I'm like, it's gonna happen. It's, that's just how um, plus size people are treated online. Bye, Ethan. I appreciate you coming in to stream and saying hi, chilling with us for a little bit. I hope you have a good one. Um. Anyway, so that's just how plus five people are treated online. It's how it is. It's kind of like being a woman. You get shit on because you're being a woman, or for being a woman. Oopsie. Um. That's just how it is. But I don't know. I a lot of negative. Like I think the first negative comment like actually bothered me for a day. But now when I get them, in my head, uh, we have Nova Nymph. In my head, if you are spending the time to type out a comment for like a minute, one, you're helping with my engage engagement. Like you're boosting my video more. And also, you think you're going to make me sad? No, I think it's fucking funny. Because if I annoy you so much that you want to leave like a mean or hateful comment, you're still thinking about me. Are you mad that my video does well? Yeah, they are just jealous! Exactly! And I just- I think it's like a power move for me not being affected by it. Granted, I don't get a lot of hate. I just get them like maybe once a week. So no, not, it's not like every day I get shit. I feel like if there's ever a point where I have- where I'm big enough to where I get like hate every day, I feel like that'll definitely take a toll on me. 
but when I'm still small and get a hate comment occasionally, I'm like, bah, it don't matter. Also, don't start shitting on me now. <laughs> Guys, don't do it. <laughs> Ooh, I will sing a song. Ooh, we can do that. Thank you for redeeming that, Kim. I appreciate it. Okay, let's... Okay, let's take a break. Let's break. And we needed a break anyway, let's be honest. Wait, look at this. <laughs> look look at this, um... Look at that overlap. <laughs> it looks so fucking weird. Okay. Um... Oh, I know what song I want to sing. I know what song I want to sing. <clears throat> so, the song I will be singing... I can't look up the lyrics. Um... <clears throat> is Lucky by Jason Mraz featuring, um... Colby Kaya, I think her name is. <clears throat> I heard it in the waiting room at my doctor's office the other day. And I was singing it to myself. And then the other lady waiting in the waiting room smiled at me. So, good memory. Um, okay. Let's bring the mic a little bit closer. <clears> okay. <throat> I need to, like, psych myself up. Can we get some hype emotes in chat? Just, like... If you guys are subs, can I get some spins in chat to make me feel good about myself? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Boy, you in my dreams, I feel you whisper across the sea, keep you with me in my heart. You make it easier when life gets hard. The lucky I'm in love with my best friend. Lucky to have been where I have been. Lucky to be coming home again. Ooh. They don't know long it takes waiting for love like this every time we say goodbye i wish we had a one more kiss i'll wait for you i promise you i will yeah so that was the i guess bridge and then half of the first verse and chorus of Lucky by Jason Mraz. It's such a pretty song. If you don't know it, look it up. It came out in the mid-2000s. It's really good. A really, like, pretty, lovely song. But I, I like singing Colby's verse. I think it's really pretty. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for putting the emails in chat. If I tell you guys to do something, you better fucking do it. Anyway. <laughs> but thank you. I appreciate the compliments, guys. I sing sometimes. Um, That Channel Point Redemption is only one time per stream. So if you want to see it again, come into next stream. Because, like, okay, let's go back to calligraphy. Because I like to show off a little bit. I think I'm decent at singing. I think I'm fine. I'm not amazing, but I think I'm good. Like, I think I'm solid C tier. If I actually, like, practice singing, I think I could be an A tier. Okay, enough loading. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so when I was, like planning what I want to do for stream, like, i.e. thinking of what content I want to do. I was like, maybe I can play games and sing songs, but also, technically, technically, for like a live performance, for copyright reasons, you can sing covers live, but you cannot rebroadcast a cover, technically, without having the rights to a cover. <clears throat> Aw, thank you, Fry. I appreciate it. I try. I genuinely try. <clears throat> but also, I only sing songs I'm good at. Like, you aren't gonna hear me singing, like, Ariana Grande. No shot. Um. Anyway. So, if that's why I like for a lot of music channels, typically, if they are, like, recording or, or if they are singing covers or remixes, a lot of their VODs are unpublished. Because, yes, they can perform it live, but they cannot rebroadcast it without having the license. So, I can skirt under the radar 
and sing songs in the middle of a four-hour VOD, right? Because who generally is going to come across that randomly? Unless I have, like, songs in the tags or whatever. But not many. So I can sing songs, like, once a stream, but I can't have a whole singing stream and keep the VOD up. That's why, like, sometimes I will do singing on TikTok. So if you aren't already, make sure you are following the TikTok. Um, Tobal Roberto. Tobal Roberto. Um, if you aren't already, go follow the TikTok. Um, I do live streams on there occasionally, but not often. I want to do more. It's just like... For a TikTok live... Okay. Any TikTokers in chat. If you follow streamers... Look at me like a pill. <laughs> <Whoa, mouth. laughs> nice. <laughs> um, anyway. Okay, so if y'all are on TikTok and you go to like a streamer's profile and they're live, how many times? Okay, sorry, my cam like did it turn off? No, it's still there. Sorry, it, it shut off for like a second on my end. Anyway, it's fine. It's fine. They look dumbfounded. <laughs> I mean, that's just how it is. Like, some people just aren't attractive to the certain genders. And that's fine. That's how it is. I know. See, like... I'm like that with women. Like, I don't get how people don't like women. Girls are literally so pretty. I don't get it. Anyway. <laughs> you ever go to, like, a streamer's TikTok and you go to their live video? And it's just them sitting at a desk streaming on Twitch. Literally fucking stupid. Like, the whole point of having a live stream is to engage or talk to your chat box, right? So if you're going to neglect your TikTok audience, that to me is literally a brain dead move. Like, yes, it may bring some people over from TikTok to your um, live stream. That's all I wanted to say. Have a good stream. Okay, bye, Issa. <laughs> Hope you have a good one, man. We'll see you next time. Um, you're so funny, hon. <laughs> um, so, if y'all are streamers and you want to do a TikTok live, actually plan something to do. Like, don't just rebroadcast re re yourself streaming on Twitch. It's fucking cringe. If I see that all the time, I think your content is mid. And then, that'll just make me not want to go to your Twitch live. I don't know, it's just my take. It's very rare that I will go to like a streamer's TikTok and click on their live, and it's them actually doing something. That's why like for my TikTok lives, it's usually like calligraphy, art, or singing, or nails. We, we do nails every other Sunday. Or Monday. I think we're gonna do nails next week because... I did these last Saturday, and they, they're still pretty good. They're still hanging on. <laughs> What's nice about a TikTok live, though, is um, that they are, like, a bit more intimate. Like, it's, like, a- it's from my phone, so it's me looking at the camera. <laughs> you heard her content is mid. Yep, exactly. I'm self-reporting. Um. <laughs> uh, what's this thing? Because, like, with a TikTok live, it's not from my computer. It's from my phone. So, the chat is really small because it's on my phone. It's annoying. I hate the UI. Um, kind of like for a Twitch stream, if you talk to me in chat, I will for sure talk to you back in a TikTok live. But also, like, the chat for a TikTok live is kind of cringe. Because it's all, like, normies. It's non-Twitch people, so they don't understand how, like, a live stream works. Like, they'll just be asking dumb questions the whole time. Or, like, they'll talk about, like, their stuffed animals. And I'm like, okay, dude. Because, <laughs> okay, granted, there are a lot of children on TikTok. So, I try not to get too salty about it. Oh, yes, but I... Those Ds came out perfect. <laughs> no, you're fine. I mean... Oh, bye, Kim! I didn't see that. Bye, Kim! <laughs> Hope you have a good one, Kim. I appreciate you hanging out with us today. Rob's not there. Oh. I, 
I understand why people lurk. I know I don't feel comfortable chatting all the time. So it's no biggie. I think it's nice just to have people, like, lurking too. I know I myself, I lurk a lot. Like, there's days where I'm chatting, days where I'm not. So the people are just here, chilling with me, enjoying the music, enjoying the calligraphy, I'm happy. I can't tell you how nice it is to know that, like, people like what I do. Or, like, like the content or, like, the stream. Because, as we talked about earlier, like, I streamed to zero viewers for, like, six months. And it sucked. Because I think a big thing is, if you don't have people watching what you do, it can get very discouraging. Um, because your chat box is kind of like your validation at times. Like, I know it's not healthy to see it that way, but that's just how it is. It's kind of like how, for example, if someone sees, like, a lot of growth, or, like, they have a lot of viewers. Like, let's say someone is averaging, like, 25, right, and that's a normal stream for them. If they have a stream where they have, like, 10, that is, like, it hurts. Because just to think that you peaked at this number, and then you fall back down, it, 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 hurt, it hurts people sometimes, right? That's why, like, yes, I know there are streams where I have less people, and that's just how it is. Like, maybe it's a schedule thing, or maybe the people aren't available. That's fine. Um, it's how it is. Like, even if I have one person here, even if I'm at one viewer, I will be happy. Because one person is better than none. Yes, it's cool when you have, like, ten people, when you have five people, but if I have one person with me, I'll be happy. Because a lot of people forget that five people is a lot of people. If you're looking at a lot of other streamers on Twitch, not a lot of people have five people. There are a lot of people, me included in the past, who had no viewers. Like, not a lot of people have people watching their shit. So I think it's important to emphasize your appreciation for anybody who comes into your stream. Yeah, we have a lot of younger people here, which is fine. Like, I understand since a lot of my audience is from TikTok, I have a lot of younger people. Like, whether it be, like, middle or high schoolers. So it's fine if people aren't here every day. Like, as long as people are, like, liking the clips or watching the VODs, like, go for it, you know? Because a lot of people think about just the live stream when they're thinking about content. But there's so much more past that. Like, there's people who watch the VODs. There are people who like your clips. Like, it's very easy to forget about that. Okay, we have Master of Games 16! Like, I know myself. When I was working, because I used to work like 10, 13 hour days. Like, I couldn't watch Twitch a lot. And it sucked. Because I want to, like, support my fellow small creators. Or, like, I didn't stream then. But, like, the people I like watching. But I used to watch, like, all of the sun's VODs. And I used to, like, fall asleep watching them. So, I was a VOD frog, too. Also, anybody in chat, if you are here, and you're not usually here for a live stream, and if you watch the VODs, I don't know how many people watch the VODs. If you watch the VODs, tell me. Because I would like to know, like, who watches the VODs. I think it's interesting. Um, but if you subscribe, you get ad-free viewing on VODs as well. Meaning, because, okay, you know how we do the shtick during the live where every hour you, you we run an ad and then if you don't want to watch the ad, you pay or you subscribe? So that's every hour. So during the live, I have control over my ad density. On VODs, I do not. I think for some channels, there's literally like a minute ad every 15 minutes on some VODs. Which I think is crazy. So if you are a VOD watcher, you can enjoy ad reviewing on the stream and VODs if you subscribe. Pretty crazy. And I didn't know that for the longest time. Okay, this username is spelled funny kind.
Okay, we have Hercules. Hercules. I think it's funny how I said I'm nearing the end, like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> we still we still got a good handful. <laughs> Because of my current growth, I'm gaining about a hundred followers a month, which is cool. It's pretty pogged up. But a lot of these followers are from other platforms, I assume. Like a lot of these people are probably from TikTok. Which is cool. We love our TikTok frogs. So that's why a lot of people get hung up on like follower count. But it all depends on how many people show up to your lives. Because like, for example, sponsors. We're like the big guys, mind you, not little small people like us. Or like me. They look at your live viewer count. Because yes, you can have like 100 million followers. But if, if your live stream only has like 10k people, then they're only showing an ad to 10k people, not 100 million. So, yes, followers are cool in Pago. But I'm more focused on like getting people into the live stream. That's why I'm trying to like experiment with like titles. Experiment by doing like extra streams, see how like different days perform. <laughs> okay, we have Super Sniper 5608. The numbers did get a little messy at the end, but it's fine. My hands are getting a little tired. But that is not an excuse. Also, you guys who put like an extra letter for a username, that's kind of cringe. It's hard to read. This is High Hacker. They placed, I think, second in our tournament last weekend. Shoutouts. They received a $25 gift card. Pago. But they're super nice. I think another TikTok frog. Hi, Hacker. <laughs> it's just so funny to say to you, Hi, Hacker. It's like, hello. Okay, this one's a long one. I don't know if this all, all is going to fit on the page. might fit. I can make it fit. Actually, maybe not. I don't know. Ah, oh, there we go. I made it fit. I made it fit. Madeline's Madeline Shemadeline's kind of squished at the end, but I made it fit. I made it work. <laughs> it's kind of like you know how you ever make like a school poster board, and you know it's not gonna fit, so you like squish all the letters at the end. We have Lord Louis.
I love the usernames that are just like regular words. Because then I don't have to look over like every two seconds to make sure it's not spelled funny kind. Okay, we have lukewarm pizza, 80. Be a nice short username. We love that. Okay, another page done. We are getting there. Okay, right now I'm drawing my guidelines. Okay, I'm gonna get something to drink. I haven't drank anything in like an hour. Chat, make sure you stretch and get a snack and drink if you need it. Okay, back to it. No time off task. Best of the team. We saved it. You know what I'm genuinely so excited for? Um, Cutie Cinderella is on my auto host list. Mainly because I love her. <laughs> Parasocial, of course. She is, um, she's a mid sized streamer. She usually averages like 1 or 2k. But she's doing this big event called the Girls Trip, and I think it's starting this week, and I'm genuinely so excited. Because I think my favorite type of content for, like, the big streamers is, like, IRL. Because just seeing, like, other streamers, like, goof around and interact with each other, I think is so entertaining. To see how, like, different personalities, like, engage and interact is really cool and fun. So she planned this huge, like, it's a few day event, I think. Because she and a few other, like, um, streamers are going to Florida for a girls trip stream. I'm so excited. Like, I'm gonna be watching back all the VODs. Okay, we got Pretend Tristan. Pretend Tristan. <laughs> like, I know how, like, Big events usually do well in Twitch. Like, that's currently where the meta is heading. Kind of like, I think that's why the Mario Kart tournament and the birthday stream in one did really well on Sunday. Because I was, like, hyping it up all month, you know? Um, we have MX by CB. Mix B C B. I don't know how to say it. Um, like, I feel like that's where the meta is heading, and I think that's fine. But I know, I, I myself personally, I love collab streams. If I know all the personalities involved, like, if I see a collab and I don't know who the other person, I'm like, who is this, right? Like, I know for me, like, when I see a lot of small streamers do, like, collab shows, I think it's fine. But I feel like those type of streams don't showcase the personalities enough. Especially if there's more than, like, three guests on a show. Because you're not- you don't want to, like, give one person too much airtime, or, like, too much, like, attention. <clears throat> and also, you don't necessarily know all the guests, so you don't know, like, how well you'll vibe with each other. Because you ever watch a collab stream, and everyone is just, like, really freaking awkward, and it's just weird and not fun to watch? That's why 
A big reason why I don't do collabs for a stream as of now. Because one, I don't necessarily have an idea or a concept I want to do for a collab stream just yet. And also, I don't know a lot of Twitch people that I feel fully comfortable with. Um, like, I know um, me and Emmy Beef are talking about doing a collab sometime soon, but we agreed that, like, we want to, like, play offline first to, like, okay, we get along. We get along. We don't have beef with em I don't have beef with Emmy Beef. But, like, we want to make sure, like, our commentaries, like, will do well, like, offline and on camera. Yep, it's me, Raccoon. So hopefully in like a month or two we'll do a collab stream with Emmy Beef. I think that'll be fun. Because another big thing with collab streams is usually the chat, you don't get to engage with chat as much. So like your commentary in the collab has to be substantial enough to where you don't necessarily need to be engaging with your chat as much. And what happens with like small streamers is since their chatters are so used to like that one-on-one -on -one engagement with the streamer like they'll want that attention for the streamer during a collab stream when they can't necessarily get that one-on-one -on -one interaction as much and i know chatters here are pretty nice but i don't know how well it'll translate so i need to figure that out before we ever do a collab because i don't want like chatters feelings to get hurt and i don't want like the guests feeling to get hurt you know if you can't tell, and if you've been streaming, if you've been in stream long enough, you know that I like over, t I tend to overthink a lot. I think that's just like part of having anxiety and like having anxiety brain. Because the way my brain works is that for every single thing that I say, I have to think of like a million and one different scenarios as to how it'll end up, right? So that's why like, I like to say I don't have any regrets because I, for the most part, think that I think out my decisions fairly well. Like, I will typically stand behind any take or decision that I make. And I will change it if I feel like it needs to be changed. Or like, if I'm educated in a way that changes my perspective. And let, me, let me reiterate, I'm very progressive, like I'm very open about most anything. Um, so I'm not gonna go off at people. We have April Rules and then Sailor Carson. Because um. I think you have to like conduct yourself in a way that's not too isolating to an extent. Like you have to be like thinking about and empathizing with the people you're engaging with but you also have to like stand up for yourself in some capacity and like stand up for your opinions but granted also keep in mind if your opinions are like hateful and bigoted that is not good you need to change those opinions because those are not opinions though are those are biases there's a difference you could say, oh, I grew up with these opinions, or I grew up in this environment, but no, you can still change your bias. It's all about perspective. We have Mad Cat 1882. That's why, like, I think it's important to, like, hold people accountable, but also let them change and acknowledge their past mistakes. Like, people who, like, made a mistake five years ago, and said something untasteful but now they've learned changed their opinion like you have to let them move past that like it's different if they're still like spewing bigoted or hateful stuff but if they're like being an advocate now or they have openly said they changed their opinion then i think lay off a little bit Because if you're going to ostracize people for changing, when changing is the right thing to do, people aren't going to want to do it. Or they aren't going to want to be vocal about social issues or norms. The internet never forgets yet. Like, it's a good and a bad thing, right? 
because I feel like if someone did like actual like really bad shit, like something they can be charged or like criminalized for, yeah, hold them accountable. But like, um, if it's something that, if it's like an issue that they can change their perspective on, and they have changed their perspective on, give it to them, you know? Okay, we have Lunar and Moon. Because I feel like everyone, like, grew up with their own biases, grew up with their own prejudice, whether it be, like, from their parents or, like, the where they grew up. But you can change your biases. Like, I firmly believe that no one is born hateful. I don't think anyone is born, like, bigoted. Like, a lot of those behaviors and mentalities are learned. Whether it be your home environment, your parents, the education in which you receive. So I think people can change. I think we have like 20 left. So we have about 30 to 40 minutes left. But hey, you guys know what time it is. We are almost four hours into stream. It's a long one today, guys. So it is time for an ad. Sorry, I'm, I'm like feeling a wave of fatigue right now. I'm feeling it. Um, it is time for an ad. So. You can avoid that ad for subscribing for just $4.99, just $5 a month. Or, if you have an Amazon Prime, link it to your Twitch account and get a free Amazon Prime sub every month. It's literally free money. What are you doing if you don't use your Prime sub? Um, we are very close to our sub goal. If we hit 50 subs today, then Chatters, you will get three new emotes. You'll get two regular emotes and then one new animated emote. Um, yeah, that's all. An ad is coming, guys. Get ready. <laughs> oh, I, I spelled it wrong. Be back to work. No more time off task. Okay. Dude, I am feeling it. That fatigue is hitting hard right now. I know this playlist for this video was called like weird and obscure Nintendo music, but I kind of like it. We have the honey more or D more. Okay, this guy. Oh, honey, what are you doing? This username has two, four, six, eight, ten M's. Oh my god, honey. And of course, this is my busted red pen. Okay, at least I can practice my M's. So we got one, two, three, four, five. I don't think all these M's are gonna fit. I don't think they're gonna fit. Because the M is a wider letter. Okay, if it doesn't fit, then we'll just cut out a few M's and put a P, okay? Oopsie. Oh well. So what happens when you have a, a funny username like this? 
Like I said earlier, when there's like double letters and there doesn't need to be, I hate it. Well, how many did we squeeze in there? We got two, four, six, eight. Ah, we're missing two. <laughs> Doctors write prescriptions, honestly. Have y'all ever seen Russian Cursive? If you have never seen it, literally look it up right now. Russian Cursive is insane. Because, like, everything just looks like U's and V's. It's crazy. Okay, so we have AMP. <laughs> kind of like AMP. AMP. <laughs> Yeah, in case it's a good thing, I bought an extra. There's an ant on my wall. It's right here. It's off screen, but... Because, like, now that it's starting to warm up, we're getting, like, carpenter ants in the house. And they're always in my room. I don't get the big deal. And they aren't even in my snack drawers. They're just on the floor. I would smash the ant, but whenever I smash the carpenter ants, they smell like stinky. Like it's it's weird because like they smell sweet, but also they smell bad. It's weird. I think I'm gonna have my sister put like repellent in my room today. And like I also don't think it's a a good look if I kill an animal or not a, in a bug on stream. I feel like Peta is gonna like murk me or something. <laughs> Okay, we have Nico Atsume. I think the strat for like killing bugs is to flick them away. Like not smash them, but just flick them. Because if you flick them, they hit a wall, break a leg, easy. They're done for. If you can't tell, I think about that a lot. But I'm not a sociopath. <laughs> Yeah, this username is not gonna fit, but it's kind of cringe. It their username is that one user in your closet. Kind of creepy, but you know, some people like to troll. You're not gonna scare me though. Okay, we have R. Fisher 025. Okay, Y'all can tell I'm getting tired because I'm talking less and less. Because like, I can feel a migraine coming in from the lights. I think I also need new prescription glasses. Because I think I got these a year and a half ago. And like, they still work. Like, I still see like a solid 1080p when I wear them. But maybe it's time for a new pair. But I also can't afford that right now, so. Because I'm on that sweet state insurance. Dude, I wish like, I wear 
and like dental was on state insurance because like I need to go to the dentist like I should I don't have any issues mind you like it's, it's not an emergency but like I would like to get my teeth cleaned um fofo2750 but then it's like how can I justify dropping a few hundred if I don't have it you know what I mean in my America all health anything health related instantly covered like there's enough people making a lot of money to where like the poor people should be taken care of you know what I mean like even if I myself one day become the next Bezos I don't care if I get taxed like I'm still making a good chunk of change Talking about Bezos, if you don't like Amazon, um, but you have Amazon, <laughs> just link your Twitch to your Amazon, you get a free Prime sub, you're literally taking money from Bezos. Isn't that cool? Isn't that sick? I use my Prime sub every month and quietly say, frick you Bezos, in a video game. Because <laughs> Twitch is run by Amazon, Sarge. So okay, we have Young Saucy. Okay, we're getting there. These are followers still from last week. We're getting there. Dude, how did I do this for six hours last time? I'm actually insane. Because I jokingly said, how about we do this stream once a year, Lamau? Imagine how many followers I'd get in a year. I'm not, I don't mean to gloat, but at my current rate, I'm at 100 a, a month. Imagine doing 1,200 names in one sitting. That's crazy. Okay, I'm getting tired. The migraine's getting worse. We're almost there. We got like 15 left. And also, even if you spend like a minute per name, 1,200 minutes? That's crazy. And that number is only accurate if I stay at the current growth I'm at. That'd be crazy. But also calligraphy is fun. So I wouldn't mind doing this more often. Cause I think a hundred a week is doable. Like it's manageable. I'm not saying to not follow, but maybe. <laughs> um. Cause like, we have not max zero. The thing you lose once you get to a certain point in growth is like, you can't necessarily like remember everyone in chat. Meaning, like you'll see this in a lot of big streamers. But like they will only like talk to the people who donate or subscribe, which is which is fine. Like it's whatever. That's just how some people's like streams are. Um, Cause like you can't give all of your chatters equal attention once you're that big, right? But I think these calligraphy streams are a good way for me to like kind of reinforce the idea that there is a person behind every number. No matter how big or small you are. Like, I still remember my first follower. Okay, we have Poltergeist. We have Ethan, they were in stream earlier. I think this is funny because this person made a twitch account just to come into stream and hang out with me and I thought that was really cute and sweet also they wanted to participate in the tournament last week <laughs> but I like to think 
that they made a Twitch account just to see my stream. <laughs> this is a lot of followers. I know, right? And I'm still, like, really small. Like, isn't it- like, look at these pages. These are just from today. And we have, like, almost 10 pages full from just today. Um, okay, these are followers just from April, mind you. So, it's crazy, right? Because it's very easy to compare yourself, especially when you're small, to people, like, who are a lot bigger than you, or people who are a similar size to you. But, there's still people, you know? Like, I know, I know I have some bots who follow me. Like, that's fine. I don't care. Because, okay, all you chatters, this is not an invitation. But one of my, like, biggest, like, concerns about doing these follower streams and, like, putting follower in the title is thinking one of you little shits or, like, someone who wants to troll will, like, follow about me and give me, like, hundreds of followers for, like, a funny gag. But don't do that shit. If you get caught, you will get banned. Um, I won't get banned. Because I'm not telling people to bot me. Because that would be TOS. But. Like, I feel like that's gonna happen one day. Don't do it. You'll get banned. Like, if you get caught follow botting. Even, like, purchasing bot accounts, you will get banned. Don't do it. You'll get IP banned, so you probably won't ever have a Twitch account again. Um... So don't do that shit. I know bigger number better person, but that's not how you should go about things. I also don't like follow for follow. Follow for follow is cringe. That is why I don't follow people back on TikTok, Twitch, Twitter, or whatever. It's cringe. It's false engagement. False numbers. So I don't do follow for follow. I've never done it. Because if you are going to have people follow you who don't engage or don't like your content, what's the point, right? Because yes, numbers are cool, but at its core, content creation should be making good stuff or stuff that you have fun doing. And that is a big reason why I kept streaming for those six months where I had zero people. Because I liked it. I had a creative outlet. I had fun. I had fun, like, learning tech stuff. Like, I liked learning new things. I liked talking to randos online. It was fun. There's a reason why a lot of people quit. Because they're doing it for the wrong reasons. People think streaming is a get-rich-quick. It is not. It takes a lot of time to build up your stream, to build up your personality, to build your audience. Um, that's why I haven't quit. Because I do this because I want to have an outlet. I want to, like, have something creative to do. I want to give myself structure. Um. So, yeah. Like, I had one person leave a comment on my hover. If you know what hover is, it's alright. It's fine. It's basically like a TikTok, but for streamers, but like 10 times worse. Because <laughs> there's like no algorithm on the site. Anyway. I got a comment from somebody saying... What was I talking about? Yeah, it was like totally unrelated to the video. But it was... Because basically it's just like all my TikToks re-uploaded onto that site. Uh, but like the video was about me talking about like, Oh, do you like your voice? I know I myself... It took a long time to get used to hearing my voice because it's different from the voice you hear. Lum out. So that was the clip. And then the guy said, oh, I hate my voice, but also... Um, he was like, you know, I feel like I've networked a lot on Twitch, but like nobody comes into my streams and I, I want to quit. And I was like, whom? How do I approach this? Um, this is Kremble to Kremble. And I was like, hmm, how do I respond to this? Because... I don't know how I was feeling that day, but I think I responded with something like, you know, 
it, it takes a long time for people, people to grow. People come and go. But also, make sure you're streaming for the right reason. Like, you should be wanting to stream because you want to make good shit. Or you want to be creative. And then, you know what the guy replied with? He's like, I still fucking hate my voice. And it's like, honey, I'm trying to comfort you. I'm trying to console you. So, like, you know, it takes time. Like, you're not going to see growth instantly. People come and go. And then you just say, I still hate myself. Or I hate my voice. It's like... You are in such, like, a negative mentality that you need to fix that first and change your perspective. And then maybe people will stick around. Because I understand that, like, there are times where, like, I do get negative, but I try to shift away from it because, like, I'm not going to want to watch a stream where, like, the person is in a bad mood or, like, they're shitting on people all the time because that's not entertaining, you know? Like, I know I watch streams as an escape. I like seeing people that are happy because there are a lot of days where I'm not too happy, right? So I don't want to turn on a stream and see people being, like, talking down about themselves all the time or, like, shitting on other people all the time. Yeah, exactly. Like, I can understand, like, if you're having a bad day, but, like, if you're going to leave a public comment on a public platform... Like, if I open that comment thread and I see that you're just being, like, a negative Nancy, I'm not going to want to click on your profile and see if you got good shit. Like, I'm obviously going to tell that, oh, you're being negative. Your content is probably going to be negative as well. Um. Ah, that's just my opinion. It was very off-putting. Like, it's very rare that you'll see me, like, post me being sad or, like, extremely negative. Because I don't want to be known for that. Um, Anacoda. Like, the closest I've gotten to sad posting was today. Let me actually pull it up. Oops. Wrong tab. Um, it's on my Twitter. Exclamation Twitter in chat. <laughs> Go follow my Twitter. But, this right here. Nope, not this one. <laughs> That's just me. And this thread right here, where, like, I posted the monthly comp. And then, right here... In the replies, I said April was crazy. I started streaming for longer. We did the six hour calligraphy stream for April Fools, the Meg Esports, MK Tourney, Beauty Stream, and more. And then here's like the kind of sad part. I said April has never been a good month for me. This time of year riddles me with anxiety. But thank you guys for making my days brighter. Um That's that's basically what it was, right? Like that's the most I will sad post. Because to me, um sad posting Okay. If you guys are... Oh, thank you for the follow, Kosovian. I appreciate it. Uh, Kosovian. I appreciate it. Um, what was I saying? Oh, so if you see, like, someone sad posting, right? You're more inclined to respond, because if I don't reply to a sad post, I feel bad. Right? So to an extent, I think sad posting does farm engagement. Which is fine. But I know if I start sad posting, I'll do it all the time. And that is not healthy. And that is not good for your brand image either. Because as we said earlier, the internet is forever. So if I post my really sad thoughts, then a potential brand can find those old tweets or whatever. So that is not good. So all of you little zoomers in chat or watching the stream, keep in mind what you're posting. Like it's going to be there forever. Even if you have an alt account. Where it doesn't have your name in it anywhere. Just be careful what you post. Because you don't know if, let's say, you have your friends on your alt account. Maybe one day you piss off your friend and then they leak your alt account. And then you get exposed for all your super edgy memes. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> so just be careful. Like, my personal rule is, don't say or post anything you wouldn't want your parents saying. And if you're okay with them seeing it, be able to, like, explain it. On that topic, um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, just be careful what you post. And if you post stuff, don't, like, renag on it. Stand by your decisions. Okay, we have Elmdale. Okay, I'm speedrunning, I'm speedrunning. I need to, 
like get a different tripod for my camera because like it's attached to my desk. But as we discussed earlier, the floor in my room is slanted, meaning anytime I move my desk slightly, see that shit? Sorry, I did not mean to scare you guys. <laughs> um, I can't because like I have no rest to put my tripod. Because I have to have my phone plugged in. Because, like, the closest outlet is not close enough. Yeah, just listen to me complain, guys. <laughs> so, like, I want to find a tripod that won't move. But even if I get a better tripod, it's not going to do anything because my floor is slanted. So unless I can get a new floor, we're going to have a shaky camera. Sag. Okay, we have Night of the Wolf. <laughs> or I could, I could rearrange my whole room and put my stream setup in a place where there's no slanted floor, but the only place that's not slanted in my room is by the door. So I'm not moving everything to my door. I don't- okay, also, I don't know why I'm complaining because no- no chatters have complained about a shaky camera. <laughs> I'm just making my own problems right now. <laughs> I'm tired. Okay, back to it. No more time off task. I work for Amazon. <laughs> Okay, we have Lamaze. Lamaze. Okay, we have Crazy Boy! <laughs> Some usernames are so funny to me. Oh, we're so close! I think we are 10 away, guys! 10 away from the end! Because I think we're getting to follows from yesterday. Yeah, it's sent away. We're almost there. I appreciate anybody who's coming in, saying hi, or like who's been here for a long time. I appreciate everyone. So I know this this is a doozy. And when we end, you can be like, I was here. I was here for the full three hours of calligraphy. <laughs> Dude, I thought I messed up. Their username is Tortoise, but I thought it was Turquoise, and I was like, flicked my shit. But we're fine, we're saved. Okay, we're making a cursive S. Okay. Do you guys see the difference right here? I did a curly S and then a cursive S. We talked about consistency earlier. This is not consistency. This is not good. This is bad calligraphy. But it's fine. It's It's... Fine. It's okay. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna freak out. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, you were here for your name, fur. Let's go. You know what's so cute? Some chatters during the last calligraphy stream, they clipped me writing their name, and it was so cute. Imagine you're a VOD watcher and you comb through the whole VOD to find me write your name. That'd be crazy. I wonder if any chatters do that. I know I would. 
<laughs> I'd be like, I need to find it. How do I clip that? Um... You'd have to go- once the stream ends, you go to the VOD, and then you find it, and then you click the clip button. You did it with the last year- oh my god, you're so cute, Digon. You're so cute. Um, I can actually show you really quick. Let's go to YouTube cam. Okay, so any chatters, listen up. Chatters, listen up. If you- this is a little lesson on how to clip. Who's live? Oh yeah, his song's not live. What's- Oh, it's another Fortnite journey? Okay. You guys can see who I'm following. I, I've i been trying to watch more Evi. Okay, so you go to your favorite channel, which is obviously me, and then... Oh no, come on, come back. Oh my god, we're back, we're back, okay. Okay, I know what happened, I know what happened. So, apparently opening Twitch fucks up my processor. Uh oh, okay, let me try. See, like, my phone cam disconnected too. So, okay, we're not gonna do a lesson on how to clip. <laughs> we're, we're not gonna do that right now. I think- okay. I think what I'll do for you guys- yeah, we're back. Thank you guys for sticking around. Um, if you still see an F screen, refresh your tab, refresh your tab if you still see an F screen. Anyway, okay, I think what I'll do, because I know some chatters are new to Twitch, um, I think I'll make a video highlight on how to clip. Um, that way- and I'll make it a command. So next time you're in chat for, I'll have a how to clip video, and I'll link it in chat for you, okay? I think- because my computer cannot handle fucking watching Twitch right now. <laughs> oh, the phone cam is still here. Thank god, it disconnected, but it's still here. Okay. I will do that for you. Because if I can teach all my chatters how to clip stuff... That'd be cool. Because we love our chatters who clip shit. Um... <laughs> okay, yeah. Back- Time of task, back to writing. Yeah, video just for you. <laughs> you should feel special. <laughs> Lamo. Um, I think it's important to like... Like, as we said earlier, um, like, have commands for chat. Give chatters information. Because now, okay, for example, since I'm gonna make a video on how to clip stuff on Twitch... One, it'll tell you guys how to clip stuff. Two, it makes you guys feel appreciative because I'm taking time to like better your experience on Twitch. Um, that, that's kind of my way of thinking. If it'll take me like 15 minutes to make that video, I'll do it gladly. Um, and also, once you guys know how to clip, then did imagine you guys just clip everything or okay, don't clip everything, clip funny shit. Um. Uh, I think that'll be better for me long term. Because a few like... Also, if you're new to stream or new to Twitch, you can check out these help articles that explain how channel points and channel point predictions work. Um, like I said earlier, I like giving people information. And I think channel points is a really fun way to interact with stream. Okay, we have... Yuziani. On to the next page. Hopefully our last page, because I think we only have like eight left now. But also... Oh, that's you! Nice! Cool! You want to see it again? But hi, welcome to the chat. Um, nice Annie. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. That's cool. I didn't know you are here. Not to call it lurkers, but I'm glad you're here to see your name. That's cool. That's Pago. There we go. Okay. Uh, back to work. No more time off desk.
Um, okay. If I teach you guys how to clip shit, you guys best not clip bad shit. Like, don't clip me out of context. That's not cool. <laughs> but also, it's kind of funny. So... Have fun with clipping stuff. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. We're getting to the end. Okay, I'm gonna run a poll real quick. I'm gonna run a poll. Oh wait, I did I did the command wrong. Okay, I'm running a poll. <laughs> I I am so mean. I am literally so mean. <laughs> Or not, I wanted to. Wait, yeah. Okay. I'm putting up a bowl. Chatters, I want you to be honest. Okay, chat, poll is up, go vote chat. The poll is just here to see your name. But yes, if you're here because you want, you want that attention, you want me to see your right name. Or no, you just want to chill. Chatters, I want you to be honest. This is this is market research, okay? It's okay. It's okay. If oh, you guys are so cute, three chillers, cool. It's fine if you want that attention. I don't care, dude. If I saw a streamer do this shit, and like the steak was like gift subs, I would give subs. I like I like when people like do something when I give money. I don't know. <laughs> oh no problem. Um, can I call you Nye? Or Zan. I get Zan is kind of weird. I like Nye. Can I call you Nye? Or if you have another nick nick nickname, go for it. But I'm glad you're having fun so far. Didn't think you would do my name. <laughs> yeah, these are followers from April. So these are all new frogs. All new people. But I'm glad you're here for yours. For glad you're here for yours too, Nye. Or Nye. <clears throat> um. I feel bad for the people who like follow today. Because basically you guys had to wait till the end. Sag. <laughs> oh, Nix? Oh, okay, that's cool. Nix? Or Nix? Nix? Nix. Is it Nix? Like, like, N-I-C-K Nix? Like, Nix? Like, Nix? Sody Pop? Either way. Whatever, whatever works for you, man. It's your name, so I gotta respect it. Oh, right now we're doing the Rocket Panda. This was so funny. Oh my god, I felt so bad. <laughs> because this person followed and subbed during the SM3D Worlds um, run on Friday. Next? Okay, got it, boss. Um, and it was funny, because they were like, If you can beat this stage before you lose two lives, I will sub. And I was like, bet, but I'm not gonna do it. And that... It was on the stage that cost me 25 lives, mind you. <laughs> but they subbed anyway after I beat the stage, and it was so funny. <laughs> because legit, that one stage took like 45 minutes, and I assume it was brutal to watch, but shoutouts to any chatters who were there and like were cheering me on. Is dude that one fucking level one made me want to like video game myself. It was insane. Um <laughs> Okay, no more time off ties, back to work. Um. Aw, oh, you guys are so cute. Just wanted to chill with me. You guys are too cute. But I appreciate you guys. I really do. Because I remember during the initial, like, April Fool's stream where I, I did the same thing where I wrote all my followers' names. I remember telling the concept to my dad. And he's like, that's crazy. I'm like, yep, but I'm crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Because I think for that stream, I wrote 270 names in one sitting. Which today is basically half of that. That's why this section of the stream is probably going to go for three hours. But it was crazy. I mean, it was definitely fun. Today, I think, definitely went better. Because I actually had good music queued up. 
Okay, this guy's got three S's in their name. As you guys know, I hate when you guys have multiple letters in a row. It is fucking cringe and hard to read or write. Okay, so we got fresh pumpkins. Okay, fresh pumpkin is actually kind of gross. Well, it's only good if it's roasted. I assume all of you guys are like younger people. If we have any old heads in chat, that's cool. But does anybody else get like super anxious when they don't like have their phone or don't go on their phone for more than like an hour? Because I feel like if I'm not on my phone, like on social media or like answering text messages or emails, like I feel like I'm missing something. Because this whole time during calligraphy, I haven't been able to check my phone. So, like, if I got a DM or a text message, I can't answer it. And... Not that I'm scared that anything bad has happened. Because, like, if there's an actual emergency, my parents would, like, barge in the room and be like, GET DOWN! Right? Um... But... Because I haven't, like, checked my text messages in, like, three hours. So I'm hoping... Nothing happened. Because, like, okay, you ever get, like, oh, we have yellow grace. You ever get, like, a text from your friend at, like, 2 a.m. and you missed it because you were sleeping and then you get anxious and then you're like, fuck, I hope they're okay because they're texting me at, like, 1 or 2 a.m., you know? Like, that is such, like, a huge, like, worry of mine. I don't know, I feel like that's a common worry. If it's not, then rip me. We have Kim Pooter. Oh, four. They have a four. Okay, I think we're in the final. Let me refresh my tab. We are in the final three. The final three, guys. We are almost there. The final three. Oh, it'll actually be perfect because we got three more slots. Nice. Okay. You braided the spam. I was here in chat. Yeah, final three. Let's go to. In the final stretch. Let's not mess up now. I'm actually genuinely surprised that I didn't mess up a name. Because the last time we did this stream, I think I messed up like six names. Yeah, guys, we're in the final three. The final three. Get ready. We're ending with a bang. No, I, I literally don't have anything planned. <laughs> I'm already tired, as is. Gotta get some megbucks. Let's go. Grind at those points. Any chatters? What do you want to spend your points on? Like, is there any channel point rewards you're saving up for? Because, like, I know I don't have many. I think the most funny one is, I think it's how many K? It's like 20. But yeah, it's 20K points to where I will post a Twitter draft. And my friends know I'm really edgy. So a lot of my Twitter drafts are kind of edgy. You're going to save for a Twitter draft? Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I got some bangers. I got some bangers for you guys, but I'm not gonna post them until you chatters redeem them. Like, I would leak them, but I ain't gonna leak. I'm not gonna narc on myself. Okay, we have Yalu the Guru. Okay, my arm is actually starting to cramp. What if I just quit now? What if I'm like, final two, I'm done. <laughs> Imagine I just scam you guys. That'd be mean. I'm not mean. But actually, <laughs> I'm not. Dude, what if I just ended stream right here? 
Wait, no, no, no. I can end stream and just say it was tech issues. Five head. <laughs> um, what's my range? My VIP won't happen. Yeah, it's what, a billion points? Um, uh, what's my range? Um, I don't know. I never took formal, like, singing lessons. Not me either. <laughs> You're like, just to clarify, I'm not a bully. But also self rewarding. Um, I don't know what my range is. I think for the Channel for Redemption, you can re try and request a song. But I don't know if I'll sing it because I only really want to sing songs that I know I can sing well. Because I think it's cringe if I sing a song and I sing it bad, you know? <sighs> so, also to me, singing is not my craft. Like, I don't practice it. I don't, like, want that to be my thing. So, I think you can, like, try and request a song. Like, what, Ethan, okay, let me think about it. Ethan, what songs do you want to hear? Like, not, not. Sorry, I messed up the name. I literally jinxed myself. I didn't mess up anything at all today. Because their name is Kai76 Firefox. <sighs> I was so close to like a perfect run, you guys. I was literally so close. <laughs> take on me? No, I'm not doing take on me. <laughs> God fucking damn it. I was literally so close. My goal today was to get, get a perfect run. But I threw at the end, the second to last name. It's fine. I'll try again. You know, they always say keep trying, don't give up. I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna click the end stream button, I'm not gonna do it. Dude, I cannot believe I messed up on this one. I'm genuinely upset right now. Actually, I'm lying for content. <laughs> okay. I hope they're not in chat. I feel so bad. Okay, but if you are in chat, then maybe. I did it on purpose for content. <gasps> oh my god! We got a prime sub from Nyx! Thank you! First sub of the day. You get to enjoy ad reviewing and super cool sub only emotes. And you know what, Nyx? Since you subscribed, you get your name written right now. We are... We're gonna write the last name after we write um, Nyx's name. <laughs> okay. Let's see. So your username is a nice purple, Nyx. Okay, anybody new to chat? If you're new to chat. Um, we have a special journal for people who subscribe, cheer bits, or donate, or gift. So we're writing in this journal right now. Since Nyx subscribed with Prime, we love our primers, don't we, chat? Not along. Yes, we love our primers. <clears throat> okay. I love the usernames that have capital letters. I think it's really pretty. Ooh, see that capital N? Ooh! So pretty. This, this page is really nice, too. I like pages that have, like, similar color palettes, because look at these, like, pinks and purples and that green. It's very, like, springy, you know? Okay, I'm getting on my last leg. I'm starting to, like, get tired. Dude, imagine if I spell your name wrong, Nyx. I would cry. Because I have yet to mess up a name in this journal. Granted, this journal is not, like, taken out as often. <laughs> so... Once again, thank you for subbing with Prime. There we go. He'd be fine with messing up. No, no, no. I wouldn't feel so bad. Because this is the cool journal. Not to say that non-subs are not cool. But... This is like the special one, you know? This is the one I, like, look through when I get bored. Because I usually, like, try harder with this calligraphy. Like, I want it to look nice. Because, like, my way of seeing things is I understand that subscribing is cool. But I want to do something a little bit extra for those who do choose to sub. Yeah, 
exactly. Like, screw Bezos. Gotta take money from him, right? So we got next sub of the crime. We have another page done in our sub book. Let's go. This will be posted on Twitter later. Um, there's a link to that mega thread in that command that I linked in chat. <laughs> Calligraphy is giving what? Bad vibes? What? <laughs> um. Okay, back to it. Back. No more time off task. Bezos is watching. He's gonna get mad that we took a prime sub from him. Okay, so we had Kosovian subscribe about 15 minutes ago. I grabbed the orange pen when I knew I had to grab the yellow. Okay, I'm not gonna mess up. I'm not gonna mess up. Oh, not- Oh, giving- Oh, okay. I don't know all this Zoomer shit. It's <laughs> slang for good. Okay, good. I thought you were, like, gonna be mean, Ethan, when you literally said five minutes ago that you're not mean. <laughs> okay, no more- it's, it's, Okay, last one, last one. If you're new to chat or new to stream and you are following, literally, what are you doing? I'll, if you're following, if you follow right now, I'll write your name right now. Because we are at the end of our list. Anyway. Just, okay, I said gentle reminder, but I think I yelled it. <laughs> Dude, I'm so tired. I, we're almost, we're, we're at five hours. Because if you guys were um, in stream earlier, our stream crashed after 20 minutes. So we've been streaming for an hour. Um... Or, I, did I say an hour? He was streaming for five hours, is what I meant to say. <laughs> oh. There we go. We are done. Everybody stop your timers. We are done. Our last, most recent follower... Kosovian. I think that is follower number 300 something. I have to look at my follower count again. I think we gained three followers today. Let's go. Um, yeah, you were here. You were here for to go over. Let's see how many pages we have. We have one, two, three, four. Oh, wait, I should go slower. I should go slower. If anybody who is a new follow from April, so you can see your name. So you had one, two, three, page four, page five. In case any of you guys want a screenshot, I don't know. What were we on? Page six. Um, page 7. Page 8. Page 9. Page 10. <laughs> You're like, oh my god, I'm on screen! Page 11. Page 12. Um, page 13. And 14. That's crazy. 14. That's a lot. We did a lot of names. Is Okay. Last thing I will say is like... Let's turn down the music. It's kind of loud. <laughs> Isn't it wild to think that these are all people who like took the time out of their day to one, check out the channel and also drop a follow? I know I myself am very picky with who I follow on Twitch. So, once again, thank you to anybody who watches the stream, who follows, who lurks, who chats. Everybody, you guys make my day better, genuinely. Like, you guys, thank you so much. Um, we will do this again on June 1st with all of the new June follows. So, look forward to that next month. Um. I think that's all I got for you guys today. Um, one second. Okay. My phone is so warm right now.
Okay, you know I said earlier I get anxious if I don't look at my phone for an hour? I got literally no text messages or DMs, so... We're good. <laughs> We're good. I'm thinking this. Um... That's your birthday? No shot! How old are you gonna be? Uh, wait, don't- don't tell me your age. If you aren't 13, don't tell me you're not 13. You'll get banned. Um... Anyway. <laughs> um... Yeah, so that'll be all for today. I am tired. I'm gonna go eat lunch. It's almost dinner time, I did. Um... Yeah, so thank you to anybody who came into stream today. Thank you to anybody who chatted, lurked, or even said hi. I appreciate you all. I will be live again on uh, Tuesday, 11 a.m. PST. Um, so I need to move my mic. <laughs> there we go, that's better. Um, dude, my mic was probably really loud, wasn't it? It was closer to my face. Anyway, I will be live again on Tuesday, 11 a.m. PST. If you want to see more... I'm over here. Okay. If you want to see more of my offline content... Okay, sorry. I was like, why am I so washed out right now? It's because it's 4 p.m. I usually don't stream this late, so my white balance... I, I have manual white balance, so it's off. Oopsie. Anyway, you can check out... Oh, hi! Oh, bye, Yalu. I hope you have a good one. I hope you got to see your name, man. I think, because you're a recent follower, so we just did yours. But I hope you have a good one. I appreciate you hanging out with us today. Um... Check out my Twitter or TikTok for more offline content. If you aren't already, most of you guys are from TikTok. But if you aren't, go follow the TikTok and have go live notifications on. Because sometimes I do live streams over there. Um. Yeah, I think. I think. <laughs> I'm so tired. Yeah, we'll see you next time for us. Nice chilling with you today. I think you were here like the whole stream for. Thank you for spending your weekend with me. Good luck with school this week, man. <laughs> Um, I don't think anybody I know is live right now. Oh my god, XQC is doing a stream with Pokemon right now? Fuck, I missed some good content. Imagine we read Pokemon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that'd be crazy. Um, yeah, I'm honestly gonna go watch that because I love Pokemon and XQC. Um, okay, anyway, I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys then. Okay. Bye.